<laughs> Big up to Title, man. They they yeah. giving our viewers sixty days free on Title. Sixty days free. It's title.com <laughs> forward slash Drink Champs. There Bam. we go. God damn it. What it could be, hopefully this is what it should be. This is your boy NRE. What up, it's DJ EFN. And this Drink Champs Yappy Hour. Make some noise! And, and right now, we got a person, uh, we got a brother who's been down since 96. Heard he put his own solo album in 97. Uh. Then he got with a group, motherfucking, one of the most phenomenal groups ever. He's out here, monkey fucking doing his own thing with Red Hood, Red Hat, motherfucking, what is it, Red Hat Entertainment? Right. Red, this motherfucker been out here just doing it, doing what the fuck he gotta do. I seen him with shower caps on and all type of shit. You know what I mean? Everywhere I see him on the road, he's always been a delight. So he's been, he has a, he's the only person I know this Joe Buttons and Jay Electronica on the same record. <laughs> In case you don't know who the hell I'm talking about, we talking about Bizarre! Hey. I mean, there's no sense of warming up to it. We might as well just get straight into it. Um, you had a record this in uh, Joe Buttons, who's a, who's a, a friend of the show and okay. a, a friend of mine. And, right. and uh, you also did, you also did this J Electronica, which I didn't see or actually did not know where that came from. Machine Gun Ke Kelly, that was something that I, okay. I, I seen expected. coming. Well, you know, I expected. Right. So just break down for the fans, you know what I'm saying? Um... You know what was that about? Uh, the, the electronica. Uh, I mean, you know, yeah, you oh, start with him one yeah. by one. Yeah, yeah. 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 The electronica. Um, he used to be down with us a long time ago. He was uh, he used to be um, an artist uh, for Mr. Porter. Oh, was really? Was our group. Wow. Yeah. And uh, he used to like shoot B-roll footage for us, and you know, go on the road and do little shit. Jay electronica used to be a videographer. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's like I French like, Montana like famous, type shit. Not right. famous, but like he was, he was around. You know, he right, was around right. in the studios. So that's you know. But he, he's from Louisiana, right? Not from yeah, Detroit. He's from Louisiana. Yeah, he's right. from everywhere. He's a, yeah, he's you can't guy. pinpoint where yeah, Jay Electronica yeah. is from, really. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so basically, that's that's the story behind that. So so he's be down with y'all. But what made you diss him on the record though? Because he said something about uh, um, Marshall saying something about Tupac or something, whatever. Ooh. And he he dissed him pretty hard, like he never knew us or never mm. hung around us. So I'm I'm what? real big on family. So what? I just felt like not you. And who never that. knew him? You just said um, he said never that, knew Pop. Yeah, no, no he's, I'm saying like he I, like he never knew us. Oh, oh. the Jay Electronica didn't know y'all. Yeah, the way oh, he okay. came at Marshall, the way he came you know, out. So, right, right. Okay. So I was just you know I'm big mm. on family. So I was mm. just like damn. Wow, you thinking like he shouldn't have did that? Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, definitely shouldn't have okay. did that. Okay, all yeah. right. And then now, let's, all right, let's go down the line. Okay, now Joe Button. Uh, what, 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 I mean, I think that's huh? kind of obvious why. Exactly. I mean, for the fans that don't yeah. know. Right. Joe Button's, uh, I mean, like probably like the same reason, well, even more because, uh, mm -hmm. you know, um, we had a problem with him back in the day. And because mm -hmm. uh, he said something about us in the song or whatever. And oh. uh, Royce wanted to put this tour together called Never Say Never Tour, uh -huh. which was. Us, because you know we had the, the beef with Royce back in the day, uh. and then he was like, uh, "What you think about Joe Buttons?" Uh. I'm like, "So we had to have a big ass conference call, uh. yelling and screaming, you dissed us, what the motherfucker was us?'" Uh. He's on the phone like, "I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, <laughs> that's just rap." So uh. we, you no, know, we squashed the beef, whatever. Went on mm. tour in Canada. This is prior to Slaughterhouse. This is prior to Slaughterhouse. They made right. Slaughterhouse while they was on tour with us. Okay, so wow. you know. While they was on tour with us, they was like, yo, we should get some MCs from from this place. and Because Royce you know. and Joe was beefing at one point. Yeah, right? they was beefing okay. too. And then they, mm -hmm. then they squ squashed their shit. Mm -hmm. And then Royce asked us to squash it with Joe was. We went on tour with him. And then, you know, everything was cool. Then they formed Slaughterhouse. And then they, you know, did the thing on Shady. Mm -hmm. And then after that... Damn, man, you smoke some good ass weed. Mm -hmm. man. Goddamn, thank you, man. <laughs> goddamn, damn, goddamn. Damn. It's smoke champs and flour. It's smoke champs and flour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In case people want to go get that smoke champs, goddamn it. It's what you got with it. I just, you know, I put it in a blunt, you know what I mean? Because right, right. I got old school foul lungs. Right. Word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> damn. But, anyway, um, uh -huh. yeah. Um, yeah, so um, after that, you know what I'm saying? I just felt like uh, when he when he had his little. Um, his rant about his rant, I feel like album. He, yeah, I feel like yeah. he just went too far with the right. the like the racist shit and Donald Trump and 
the whole, you know. Oh, I, when M did the, the BT freestyle, you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I just I, feel like he went too far. You know, us being family, where we all uh, fuck with each other, laugh, right. joke, been on tour, uh, right. like. Like it's cool to say, like yeah. I don't like, I ain't like his album. But you saying yeah. like, because yeah. that's what I thought it was actually yeah. over. I thought it was actually him saying yeah. he ain't like his album. Yeah. I didn't know it was but, over. But if you've been around Joe, I fuck with Joe. I would say this. I just didn't like what he said. But if you've been, right. if you've been around Joe a lot, right. you will understand that he he really don't like niggas. Right. He, he, he you know he's he's more of a female. Mm -hmm. Like he rather go out with six females. You know right. what I'm saying? So right. I think he really don't get the camaraderie all right. the time when it comes to. Mm. To niggas, I remember one time he uh, he woke the whole bus up mm. and had a meeting about somebody peeing on the on the floor in the tour bus. Now you know the tour bus is wow. shaky. The but in the bathroom or outside the in bathroom? The bathroom. Oh, okay, yeah. you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so you gonna by accident is yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. Right. You know what you do as a man? You you, you piss on it. You uh, grab the tour. Yeah, you clean it up. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. know. But he had a meeting about it. Wow, well, I, I don't want to go in the uh, bathroom and uh, piss on the floor. Yeah. So then I, I uh -huh. knew I knew then like uh, 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 he's a special type of dude. Right, right, right. And then and then um okay. But uh, it ain't I, no beef though, you know what I'm saying? You know, we, okay. we know too many of the same people. Right, right. For it to to keep going on, you know what I'm saying? I think I spoke my piece, he spoke his piece. Right. Know? Cause he didn't respond on the record, but he nah, did nah. did respond. Yeah, I went too far on the record, man. Oh but. yeah? Oh man. Oh, 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 oh. But that's bizarre, man. What, what you expect, okay. man? Okay. I, I, I always overkill shit, man. Okay. So, we gotta ask you what's going on right now, what's happening. And now, okay. we don't know um, another when, beef. when this is coming out. I mean, and, and we don't know when this is coming out, but the um, uh, thing about it is, M uh -huh. got on. Joey Crack, my brother's record. Yeah. Shout out to Joey Crack. Yeah, you know, I'm totally. I just heard it that I got, verse I got, today. I got the first time. I got some stories about him yeah. too. Yeah. Okay, so I yeah, mean, he, <laughs> killed that verse. he totally destroyed. No, no, no. I'm going to wait for him. Twin to bring the cold one. Um, totally uh, destroyed the verse. Okay. Right? And I, I can't front. At my first time I heard it, I did not hear that he said Nick. Right? Okay. Cause I'm thinking he's talking about the the billionaire guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm not thinking he's talking about. Then the second and third time I heard it, I was like, oh, okay, now I get why Nick is talking. Because at first I didn't catch it. But so Nick comes at him, but he comes at him with four different dudes, right? right. That's the first one. Okay. Uh, M responds on Twitter. He says, "I never had a, sh a show for something cocksucker yeah, or something." That's right? true. That's very true. And um, <laughs> and then Nick and them. Makes another record, but he does it with the uh, Wild and Out. I believe same, the same dudes from the first song. Oh, those are the same, same dudes? dudes? Oh, I thought those were two, uh, uh, two different. No, oh, okay. I think Attic conceded on the on, on the second. So what is your? Yeah, added a rapper on the second. So so <laughs> what which is, is the one that has sugar on it? First the first. One. That's the first, the first one. one. Okay. Yeah. So what is your first response when you when you hear that? Like, I actually I'm a I'm a uh, a real battle rap right. fanatic fan. I had my own league <coughs> before, so. I know Charlie Clips, I know Hitman. Right. I thought it was funny at first. Right. You know what I'm saying? I knew what it was. I feel like, you know, they got to do what Nick tell them to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If they don't get on the song, mm. they going to lose their job. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So mm. I thought the shit was funny. You want to like it? Yeah, no, yeah, I got, I got, okay. I got, I got. Yeah, yeah. I thought the shit was funny. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I, I, ain't, I ain't take no offense to it because they did four bars a piece and you could tell they was trying to, they best not to get personal, so. Right. So I ain't really think shit of the first. The first but, but Nick shit is personal. Yeah. <coughs> like you feel he's taking it personal? Um, yeah, I believe so. I believe, I believe Nick is going. Like you don't think it's just battle rap shit for him? I know, it's his, it's his bitch. I think, yeah, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's, 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 yeah, I think it's, <laughs> which is, which is the, what the, happened already. This is the second time around. But I would defend, I would, I would defend my baby mom. Of course. Yeah, the same way. I, I will too. Yeah, I, you know. But what I, mean? I had to learn it. I had to learn this as a man because right. you know I didn't have motherfuckers come out. I fucked your baby mama before right. such and such. Right. And I had. I told the dude. <clears throat> that told me. I said, look, you fucked my baby mama. I fucked your baby mama. <laughs> I, my boy fucked your mama. <laughs> you know what I mean? We all fucking somebody. Cold That's why they mamas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and once you start getting that mentality in your head, right. you. Then it'll be less easy to play, right. but I guess everybody don't think like that. Mm. So gotta go through it though. 
taking it from the beginning. Oh, because shit. was it was it was it D twelve really had twelve members at first or uh, no? We tried to get twelve members. It, okay, it, it, it ain't work. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, cause six is enough. <laughs> oh, I don't care. So uh, for real, for real. Um, oh, okay, but now, but that's not the reason why it was D twelve. Not to try to have 12, 12 members. Yeah, it was. Really? Yeah, yeah. God damn. Yeah. 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 I believe so. Uh, Wu Tang was heavy then, man. We, you know. What I'm oh, oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, but when I when I googled you, it said you had an album in ninety seven. Yeah. A solo album. Yeah. And I, you was a part of a group in ninety six. Yeah. That what was the name of that group? The Outsiders. The Outsiders. Oh, yeah. oh you were that with Young yeah. Z and all? Yeah, me and him. Get I didn't know that you guys were actually in the Outsiders. Yeah. Pace One and Top all of them. Arm, yeah. Because yeah. I thought they were all Jersey Cats. I know that that, that M was affiliated, but I didn't know that it was official. Yeah, that I was in the group. Yeah, yeah. We um, I met them. Um, I met them in D.C. at a rap battle. Mm. You know we. They had a, we had a van of Detroit cast that went to... Wait, y'all was back battling before? <laughs> yeah, we been battling a long time. And this was the, um, the Andrews? Say Andrews? Yeah, yeah. Say, okay. But uh, we, it was this kid, he came to the hip-hop shop, and he said anybody wanted to go to D.C. to Hollywood okay. for this rap convention. Okay. So I went down there. As soon as I got off the bus, me and El Zai from Slum Village, uh-huh. we seen these cats in a cypher, and it was Pace One and Young Z. Ah. Yeah! <laughs> Shots fired. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, we went over there to the cypher. We got in the cypher. And Z told me, like, yo, if you ever come to Jersey, um, hit, hit me up. Mm. And Rod Dick is a part of this yeah, as well? Yeah, that's okay. Mama. That is, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 So I said, I said okay. So shit, like a, a, a month later, Proof was going to uh, New York. Mm. Rest in like, Proof. Yeah, yeah, I was like, how far is New Jersey from New York? He was like, about 30 minutes. So uh, they dropped me off in Newark, hmm. and uh, I went there like four or five times, and then I, I brought Marshall there. Was you Newark rough back then? Oh, fuck. I up. think it's always been rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I seen some wild shit in Newark. <laughs> they, they trying to gentrify it a little bit. Yeah, I don't think, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't see it getting yeah, gentrified too bad. Shit. I see the Starbucks coming places, man. Yeah, that's real. What's the Starbucks coming? It's going to be coming? roughly gentrified. Yeah, what's the Starbucks coming? But that, that's actually the first time I've seen, and you must have been on the tour, mm-hmm. that I've seen M was opening up for Outsiders. Yeah, yeah. Out here yeah. in Cameo in, in Miami Beach. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yep, so so he came around and then we all got cool and you know what I'm saying? Like that was like the first group that we was affiliated with. But it was so many niggas right. and so much shit going on, we started to form our own little clique in Detroit. Mm. So Proof decided he wanted to do a, a group called D twelve. Mm. And the concept was to get twelve rappers that was from different crews, like all star team. Right. Mm. And have them become one clique. But it was the plan, because of our pause, because it was the, the letter D. Was it the plan to it all be from Detroit? Yeah, yeah, okay. yep, yep. He wanted to start a Detroit crew. Okay. Yep. And we so it's the Detroit Wu Tang almost. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which, yeah we, we, he kind of said, yeah. But, but, you know, we had eight, nine, and then niggas would fall out, and this mm-hmm. nigga say he don't want to be in it no more. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, it's hard to get you know, that motherfucker, yeah. that many motherfuckers together. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> then we just said, fuck it, we going to do six rappers, two personalities. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then that's why you got M Slim Shady. Oh. I don't got two personalities, God. Bizarre, bizarre. You got <laughs> six personalities by yourself. <laughs> so, so a teacher named you Bizarre because you used to rhyme in the classroom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my music teacher, she, she thought I was talking to myself. But why, I was, why, because you used to not write with a pen? I, no, I was just like... <laughs> so she thought you were talking oh, yeah, to yourself. Yeah, she's like, it is Bizarre, it is Bizarre. <laughs> Please don't know if you're a teacher. <laughs> Right, cause I when I heard that, I said, "Man, that's like you know when I first seen Ja Rule doing that, like when I right. first seen him like write without not writing. Right. I thought he was retarded. Like you know what I'm saying? You know, God right. bless. Cause I knew that's not the right term, but I thought right. he was right. like he was get going. Cause right. you know, I never seen at the moment I had never seen nobody write without rapping. Like I right. come from real pad and pen, the right. notepad, the black and white notepad. You write your name on the front of the shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like like before loose leaf. That's why I come from writing. Right. Rounds, you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Loose leaf was actually like Hollywood. You remember the black and white notebooks? Yeah. You used to write graph on it. You know what I'm saying? I used to have that, the black books. I used to have yeah, all the that. Composition you know? books. Yeah. Oh, so, shit. um, yeah. but moving on, I know I jumped off the subject. So, so you guys go to the outsiders, right? Uh-huh. And so, and this is like '96. This is '96, yeah. right? This so, is after the Rap Olympics thing that M did. Uh, this is before that. Before that, okay. The Rap Olympics is uh, 
when I, I took him to meet Wendy Day. <coughs> so, so Shout out Wendy time, Day, man. She comes up to so many clear. Yeah. At the time, let's be clear. The white people who were dominated, who was who oh. was respected in the oh. industry were third base. Mm -hmm. The white people who were making money who wasn't respected were like Vanilla Ice. I mean, you right. can't forget Beastie Boys. I was either. going there. I was right. going there. Okay. But that was early in the days where, you know, uh, we, we never even knew that there was white people in Brooklyn at the time. When they said, no, sleep till Brooklyn. So that was, you know, that was different. Them and Rick Rubin. It's a little bit before kind of my time. Oh, it's definitely before your time. But, um, but that's what I'm trying to say. So we had never seen Everlast, of course. Yeah, House of Pain. Everlast, yeah. House of Pain. Um, we, we said third base, right? We said... Yeah. We, um, There's we, a couple people we're missing. It's, it's just, it has Milk never... Home. Home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, I forgot my bad. Okay, so it has never been a phenomenon like that, right? right, right. Uh, big up to Russ, big up to uh, even Machine Gun Kelly, uh, big up to uh, who else is the other guy? What other white person? Yeah. Uh, she easy. Yeah, she she easy. easy. But still, Logic. with all of that, you know, you can, um, sometimes they actually put them together, what M has done. Did you ever see that at first? In the beginning, I'm talking about in the beginning, in the outside of days. That he stood out? Yeah, did. Yeah, like, yeah, definitely. Like, it's um, Ron Wiser because of his complexion. Like, you be, 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 nah, be, man, be lyrically, real. I would yeah. imagine. Like, I'm answer for him, man. Go <laughs> ahead. Well, it, it was a rumor about him before I ever met him. It was like a myth. Because uh -huh. we used to have these battles at the hip hop shop. Uh -huh. and, uh, it it's was a great a, white myth. Yeah, <laughs> and, it, and it, was a, it was once a month. And uh, I heard, like, yo, it's this white boy named Mark Eminem, man. He cold, he, but he was a champion. So what they do was, like, the, the cypher would be, like, out here. And, like, see, Proof worked at the, uh, you know, Proof is a manager pop shop, so he would put him in the back, like, in the office part. Right. Right. And so nobody had ever seen him until, like, it was time to battle. He right. used to have his hat down real low over his head and shit. And... That's when I, when, I, when I first met him. I was like, damn, like, he was killing everybody. Yeah. Him and Proof was kind of selling it like fucking... Um, the white man can't jump? Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, they were selling yeah. it like that. Yeah. 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 That's exactly how you described it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 Proof come in. I'll take the white boy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. All right, cool, we take the man. And then, yeah, that, for real, I can see that. Yeah. I can see that yeah. happening. Yeah. 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 That's, that's exactly what happened. Wow. Yeah. It was something like white red can't jump. <laughs> so a lot of people thought, oh, it's easy. I'm going to slay him real quick. Right. Yeah. He was just right. taking motherfuckers out. All right. But getting back to my point, at that point, like, like Beastie Boys at third base, you got to hear them being lyrical, especially lyrical for, for that, that time. time. Yeah. Right. But we all know lyrical is considered underground. Right. We know that. Like, not, you know what I'm saying? Not at that time, though. I mean, I, I can tell you like this. Yes, it is. Yeah. Nah, I don't think it's that time because, look. There's certain artists who broke lyrical, or was lyrical people was and remained signed. underground. People were getting signed on clue tapes like a cannabis just off of being lyrical. Yeah. There was a time where get, being lyrical, you got a deal off of being lyrical. Yeah, but I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't think I, I meant that. If I did say that, uh -huh. what I meant was it just wasn't the popular thing. Like, you know, it was always the Puff Daddies that was always easier. I think you're people. thinking conscious. You're confusing conscious and lyrical. Conscious uh, rappers, the backpack no, rapping. No, no, I'm saying lyrical. No, I, I mean, I, I, mean, I, mean I mean, you know, to tell you the truth, even with Red Man and Method Man, when they were just being lyrical, when they started going like this, <laughs> and so, it, it, it separated them. When they started, but that was an evolution. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. like you started yeah. partying to Red Man. Because remember, right. like, Red Man is just, uh, uh, like, you know what I mean? Not, I don't want to say just, because, like, but so what I'm trying to say is, there's certain things, like, like um, at that moment, like even Nas, like even Nas, the greatest album he made, Elmatic, his next album was considered commercial, right? Because it, they told him as much lyrical, lyrical, great, greatest shit that spiritual shit was, miracle. spiritual lyrical, <laughs> that shit was. They was like, yo, you went gold, you could have went double platinum, and his next album did go double platinum. So most people after that, Nas being the, after that the forefront, but to get in the door, they were getting in the door lyrical at first, like early '90s, mid '90s. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But then I, I late used '90s, Nas, it started changing. No, no, no but I used Nas right. as that example. Right. He was he was the, the quintessential example of right. that. And since then, and obviously, Sim Shady coming out after that. What I'm trying to say is, you know, the success of that, like him being, like because right. sometimes being over lyrical uh, hurts you. 
Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. some people don't uh, just don't understand it. Right. So, like, you saw the the, 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 the phenomenon, it, 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 it could become, or you just... Yeah. I mean, he, yeah, he, he basically worked harder than anybody, mm. any rapper I've ever seen before. Like, mm. you know, D12, we used to, sometimes we'd be in a booth for seven, eight hours. Mm. Just by him say it over, I think you could do better. Mm. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, he was like Dr. Dre before he met yeah, Dr. Dre. Yeah, like he, Dr. Dre times 20. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Wow. As far as like, and he hard on himself mm. too. So he'd, he'd go back and do the same song right. two weeks for two weeks, I, I can't do. If I do a song, to me, if I come back to it, it sometimes it's not the same. Yeah, you don't want to. Yeah, I don't get that same vibe no more. So, no, but, you, you, okay, okay. Yeah, that's. But you know, he worked hard, man. Like he, I mean, he'll sit there and just mumble syllables. Mm, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Trying to make a match. I'm like, God yeah. damn, bro, you really deserve everything. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He got me. I can't. I can't even rap if I'm in the studio. I can't. I can't just sit at home and write a rap. Right. So now it comes out. Right. Right. I'm, I, you know, bouncing around the place. Uh, the real Sim Shady. Right. That was mm -hmm. the first record, correct? The Sim Shady yeah. LP. No, I'm talking about the, the single. It was the um, oh. I'm the real Shady, right? Hi, my name is. What's yeah, hi, my name is. Which, which is basically what he's kind yeah, of. Yeah. All right. Yeah. My name is yeah. Sim Shady, right? So New York radio. Mm -hmm. Which is that's not his first album. He had the Infinite, Infinite, yeah. Which he sounded like Nas and Jay Z AZ, kind of. AZ. I think AZ. I mean, you think like AZ? AZ? You say Jay Z or AZ? I think he sounded like like Jay Z when Jay Z was Hawaiian Sophie Jay Z, and he sounded like Nas. Oh, I think I thought it was more like AZ with that. And that's a full that fledged album. album. It's a full album. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit! Mr. Porter produced it. Yeah. Shout out to okay. Him. We was we was we was super broke back then, man. Okay. That was the that was the How Can I Be Down days. Yeah. And so I took him to Freaknik too. He was only white. You boy. took him to Freaknik, <laughs> Atlanta. Yeah. Let's get to that. I had some other shit, but let's get to that. Let's get to y'all Eminem and Freaknik, man. Eminem and Freaknik yeah, sounds like an amazing story. Yeah, man, just tell us, tell us, goddamn. Tell us. Uh, no, man. We uh, we we, 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 we first we went to How Can I Be Down. So we mm. was like on ninety four, ninety five. Or which the first, like the first one. It was it was the How Can I Be Down with. When Fat Joe got into it with yeah, I was there. I was in the streets was, when that I was, happened. Man, it was with right Dog there. Pound there, and yeah. he got in the street. And he man, was, like, was right there watching. I was right there <laughs> on the sideline. <laughs> Joe Budden, I mean, you're not there. I said Joe Budden. Fat <laughs> Joe jumped off the bus and uh, got into it with this big, swole ass, uh, like yeah. crip or you know uh, what I'm saying. Some that shit was crazy. I, uh, man, I was like 18 sitting there watching, like damn. But uh, we came in hot copy down. Uh, and this was in Atlanta with us? No, no, this is in Miami, Miami Beach. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, Peter yeah. Thomas yeah. did yeah. it with Def Jam. Yeah. 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 And uh, we slept on my man, Drunken Masters floor. Because we we didn't have no. He, uh, matter of fact, what's that? Not the studio that? Drunk Drew. No, no. What's that dude from Interscope, the big guy? Uh, oh. He's from New York. Everybody know him. He's a pro guy. Kevin. He got a raspy voice. Yow, yow. Damn, He's a real big dude with a big yeah, stomach. Okay. I mean, he was like a king of promotions right. okay. back then. But he let us stay in his room anyway. Shout out to him. <laughs> I forgot his name, man. Uh. But, uh, yeah, then uh, we left How Could I Be Down. And uh, I was like, yo, you want to go to Freak Nick? Mm. <laughs> and uh, my mom stayed in Atlanta at the time. So uh, he was like, yeah. So we caught the great Your mom ain't go to Freak Nick, too. No, right? no, 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 no. That's the way you just said it. I just had that to make sure. Okay. Bro, we caught the Greyhound from okay. Miami oh. to Atlanta. That's like 12 hours. Yeah, and he got he tried to get on the bus with a, a garbage bag. Bam. Like, like, you know, a garbage bag right. that you uh -huh. take out the trash with. And it was like, sir, you can't get on, you can't get on this, this Greyhound with that garbage bag. And I'm like, he was like, what? I I had no suitcase. Mm. But yeah, we went to Freak Nick, man. It was, it was crazy, man. The, the girls were loving him. Like, oh, look at the white boy. I think he might have been the only white boy at Freak Nick. So we need to give it up for him for that. Guys, yeah. Skinny, 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 scam in the building. So, uh, but motherfucker, big scam up. So, um, like I said, uh, I, I, you're 43, I'm 42. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn, 42. 40, 42, 43, 44. You, you oh, 40, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Around the table. so you see, like I said, you see the dynamic of a vanilla ice mm -hmm. as opposed, and I know I've said this before, as opposed to a, a third base and, and even a Beastie Boys for that nature. 
Yep. So this is the original question. And the House of Pain, we can't forget. And House of Pain, of course, right. I cannot forget. As a, I think there's a couple of others, and I apologize if I get. Might be so, missing some people. But, but um, of course, of yeah, course, right. and especially through the whole course of hip hop. But my name is comes out, right? Mm -hmm. It's the first thing, right? Mm -hmm. My name is comes out. This video. All right. First off, first off, before I even get to my name is, mm -hmm. what did you think when you found out that he was working with Dr. Dre? Uh, I was uh, I was in Texas working at a. Uh, I was in Texas working at a uh, hospital, mm. and uh, I was doing some rounds around the hospital on my little walk. It wasn't like a disorderly, like the fat an Orderly, an orderly. Yeah, yeah. An orderly? <laughs> no, 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 I was a security guard. Oh, okay, all right, cool, <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Okay. <laughs> and I was uh, doing rounds, because you know, being a rapper, that's the only job you can get where right. it's, it's, it, you ain't doing shit. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I always went for the security guard job. Oh, word. But I was doing rounds around the thing, and she told me, like, yo, uh, you have a call in the, in the security office. And I'm like, what the fuck, call me at work. Mm -hmm. So I get there and he like. In Texas, you in Texas? Yeah, in Texas. Yeah. My mom had just moved. He was like, hello? He's like, what's up, Bizarre? I'm like, what's up? <laughs> he said, man, it's this Marshall. I said, what's up? He's like, man, I'm, I'm in uh, LA. I just signed a Dr. Dre. I was like, what? Ah. He's like, yeah, man, I just signed a Dr. Dre. Uh. I was like, you lying. He's like, yeah, bro, I want you to come out here. I want to fly you out here like tomorrow. Uh -huh. I was like, damn. So I hung up the phone, told my supervisor I quit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and shit, went home and told my mom them. They was like, what? Because you know, when you 18, 19 right. years old, you you're right. telling your mom right. that you about to move to LA and shit. They was and like, you know who Dr. Dre is at this time? Yeah. Of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm okay. fucked up. Like, okay. yeah. So I, I hopped on the plane the uh, next right. day and came out to LA. And when you seen it, you knew it was real. Yeah, man. I mean, definitely real, man. I've I been around Dr. Dre like 30 times, man. I probably can count on one hand how many words I say to him. Oh, wow. Wow. Because that's how much respect you have? Yeah. I mean, he always, I mean, he always be quoting my lyrics all the time. So he's like, yo, Bizarre, you said this? That shit was crazy. I'm like, damn. Stop that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, but you know. Okay, all right. So even with that being said, because didn't the Beastie Boys work with Rick Rubin? Right. All right. Even yeah, with that yeah. being said, uh -huh. right, I gotta get back to my original question. My name is right. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Comes out. All right. Uh -huh. They do this phenomenal video. They got the the, the blonde hair. Right. What do you say? Do you say, "Are we out of here?" Or do you say, "I hope the world fucks with it." Cause I'm, I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I thought. Okay. Remind me to say what I thought. Right. Cause I heard it prior to me seeing it. So it. What, 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 this is your world now. Right. Like you know, all the co phone calls are coming to you. The phone calls. I'm in the industry. We're just right. talking. Like yo, who is this guy? But I want to know from your path. I, I think I've never seen the uh, other part. I think I went straight to we, we out of here. <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying? That's right. all I thought about was we out of here. I don't, I don't was it just the affiliation to Dre already that you thought that's yeah. it? No matter what we do. Yeah, I, I just knew you know, the song. Well, remember, Dre never touched nothing at this time. Yeah, and it's hard to come out on after that. Right, it's, yeah. It's, it's, Rakim it's, it's, and, and Busta was on yeah, there. Rakim yeah. had a hard time. <laughs> Man, uh -huh. remember Last Empire was on there? From Philly? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Man, it's, it's a lot of people <laughs> on after Last that. Emperor, right? Yeah, the Last, last Emperor. Emperor, yeah. Your niggas signed to Dr. Dre and just say, it's over. Yeah. They well, just yeah. give up. <laughs> It's <laughs> over, Fuck everybody. I'm with Dre. <laughs> yep. yep, that's it. Yep. Mm. So, so yeah, I was I was straight into let's go mode, man. Right. Cause uh, I I had a actually I had an album out too called Attack of the Weirdos, the one you were talking about from '96. Right. Yeah. And uh, my record was doing so good too. So Atlantic, cause you know a lot of people don't know I was the first rapper signed to Shady Records. Right. You know what I'm saying? I signed first before D12. Mm. So uh, I had Atlantic, they wanted to sign me at the time. Um, what's his? Uh, Craig Calvin? Still there. He's still mm -hmm. there to this day, right? Yeah, yeah Craig yeah, Calvin's yeah. still getting that goddamn money, <laughs> goddamn it. Craig Calvin, goddamn it, he's a great guy. Yeah, so I was supposed to sign, well, I did, I signed a letter of intent first. Mm. And uh, so uh, I think Shady was supposed to be on Atlantic at first. Right. They was going through a deal with Atlantic. And, uh, <coughs> you know, Jimmy came in and Shut that down, you know, because you know. Because what I heard, it was Jimmy who discovered him. Nah. Uh, nah. Yeah, I mean, not discovered him, but it was Jimmy who got the tape to and then gave Dre? the tape to Dre. To Dre. Yeah. And this is what I heard, you tell me if I'm wrong. 
I think it was it was it, it was this guy named Dean, who was uh okay, who him and uh, DJ are Jimmy's nephews. Okay, and I think, well, this is what I heard. Yeah, that they he played it for uh, Dre uh, and didn't tell him he was white. Yeah, so I had nothing to do with unsigned hype and rigs and all that. I think uh, I think Dre, I feel like Dre's even at I that think, time yeah. was too rich to look at unsigned yeah, hype, my yeah. brother. Come on, have to even then, conversation. even then, I that. think he was too rich <laughs> to fucking pull up unsigned hype. You being honest? Nah, <laughs> bro, I mean, nah. even then, even a then, a lot of people got signed right off of unsigned hype. Yeah, well, I don't think Dr. Man, Dre. Remember, right. Riggs, Riggs became head of A and R over there at Shady. I yeah, think. that's probably right. after. Yeah, I think he's right though. I think unsigned hype was enough. Nah, I don't think that was it. Yeah, I don't think that was it. No, I think it was the respect that Jimmy had for him for like continuing the relationship. After you know the firm and things like that, and and it's basically like you know what I'm I'm looking out for you by keeping you on after we lost this amount of money. Uh-huh. Look, basically listen to this guy. And so we're saying Jimmy Iovine brought the tape to Dre. That's what we're all yeah. saying. This is kind of what in my mind. So this what, is what scam has. Scam has part heard. of the story too. I mean, this, it, it could be someone else yeah, in, in the process. Story in this? In, in the pro- uh, you don't want to parts <laughs> In the process, yeah, right but now. that's what I heard. <laughs> and then when Dre was like, yo, I, I think I like him, and that, the very last end was the moment where they said that he was white. What do you mean? Yeah. He's kept the whiteness away? Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I believe that's what I, I heard. I think the story he's telling, I've I seen that on, like, TV. Yeah, I've seen it on, yeah, I've definitely. Dre. Scam, yeah. come on, man. You, yeah. you know yeah, something Yeah, I definitely see. You know about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is Dr. Dre. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah th- th- those were Dr. Dre words. So. Right, yeah, exactly. So exactly. that's why Nori's exactly. so hard. He, he yeah. know what he's talking about. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I love my hip-hop history, bro. But, um... Okay, so so you said once you, you knew that once this came out, this was go, this was go, gonna yeah, go. Yeah. But did you know like this big, like this, like? Cause I mean, come on, bro, like yeah. this motherfucker, yeah, um, like he can't go outside. No, like it's different. Like you know, I'm saying playing people that all the time. He's like Michael Jackson, yeah. big. Yeah, like, straight you know, up. Like, yeah. like, like the other day, I just you it's know, that serious. The other day, I went to the <laughs> airport. I just you know, I just passed. Right. Yeah, you know, I ain't right. really give a fuck. A motherfucker looked at me. That cannot... In a bathroom, though. Yeah, of course, in a bathroom. But you know, usually you gotta be like this. You gotta, you know, right. you know. Like right. I just, you, you can't do that if you, if you, yeah, you can't do that. Right. Like people just gonna run up. And, like I go to the mall sometimes with myself. Like you just can't do that if you if you slim shake. Nah, you just can't, man. Uh-huh. I feel sorry for him sometimes, man. Cause he's like Elvis. He's like yeah. the hip hop Elvis. Yeah. And that shit is annoying, man. Not right. be in public. All right. And any time you try to do it, you know, just to test it out, it, it's definitely there, man. So, so verse the five nine, right? Because at one point, even you guys have beef, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Was because Royce was never part of D twelve. No. So he was what our earlier MC on that didn't have a relationship with y'all. Me and Royce went to high school together. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anybody in Detroit know each other? Right there. The fuck? And that's not racist because I think it's actually true. <laughs> Look at that. You went to high school. We went to high school together, and uh, I mean, he wasn't really known for rapping back then. He was known for like uh, being smart. He just looked like he's smart. No, nah, no, nah, he was gangster. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He was like Smart gangster. Fighting, fighting like too. You oh, know what I'm saying? He was known for like he was he was in this group called the, the Park Boys. The Park Boys. They used to hang up at the basketball court. Mm. You know, beat niggas up. And shit. Parker nigga. That's, that's, what, yeah, that's what we call it. Yeah, park your ass. Okay, all right. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. so uh-huh. that's you know, that's why our, our history started. And then um like I think once he graduated, he you know, he he uh started this group called Wall Street. Wall Street. And uh mm. that's when he, you know, started hitting the open mics and Mm. You know, getting around the scene and shit. So, and then so him and you, how how did he become a part of uh like because because he was down with y'all at first, right. but I know did he take a deal with Tommy Boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah. Is, is that is that what happened? That yeah. he was down with y'all and he took a deal with Tommy Boy, and then y'all was like, fuck him. Like it's basically, nah, come on, let's nah, just keep nah. it real. And didn't he do a couple <laughs> hype man gigs too early on with them? Like at yeah. those yeah. MTV Spring Breaks, I swear I saw him. It was yeah. a couple. Yeah, of he was hype, he was hype man first, and then um. Royce had his own crew called Wall Street. Right. He was M's hype man first, and right. then um, he got a deal with Tommy Boy. So, right. you know, he, he had Because, to, you know why I know this? He said it was on Drink Champs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He said it on Drink Champs. It's the biggest mistake he ever uh, made was signing the Tommy Boy, Boy instead of... Yeah. And he said Dr. Dre had, like, a, um, yeah. I think, a, a lesser deal for him. Yeah. I, now that I'm older, 
I, I, I can see what he's saying about that. Right. I can see what he's saying about that. Right. Because now that I'm older, I, I can see why <clears throat> the beef, it started with us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Now that I'm older, I can really appreciate it because see what happened was after Royce left Tommy Boy, he, he did a deal with Columbia. Mm-hmm. And, um, no, Columbia or something, yeah. So we, we were Interscope. So, but I think he was supposed to do, Marshall was supposed to do so much with his album, like executive producer. On but, Columbia, with Royce's on Columbia. album. Yeah, right. but what I didn't know that I know now is that basically by us being signed to Interscope Shady, Marshall had to look out for us more because t- to two labels, a conflict of interest. Right. You know what I'm saying? And when saying? y'all say y'all, you're talking about even the solos, even D-12, the uh, yeah, yeah. D12, okay. Yeah, so like, you know, kind of like if, if if you're doing a war show or something, Jimmy might be like, yo, bring, bring D12, D12. You, yeah. you gotta, you gotta right. promo your guys. Because Jimmy's, Meanwhile, that label's the one investing yeah. in his label. Meanwhile, yeah. Columbia is saying, right. man, why the fuck you ain't bringing Royce? Yeah, but us as rappers, we don't know that. I, I know yeah. you on Def Jam. Ooh. I'm on fucking Capital. Right. Right. But we don't even know that our, our two labels only really like each other, so they don't want to clear records right, and shit. Right. And you know what I'm saying? And I think he just got kind of caught up in that. So it, it kind of made it look in a way like maybe Marshall wasn't doing enough, but right. it was really that pressure of having your own label and, and breaking these cats that is right. on your label. You know what I'm saying? So I got, they kind of like started the little, the little beef and shit. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I would have been, me personally, after, um, uh, what is it? Uh, the, what's the first one I just got over? It? We just Man, you smoking some good weed. Yeah, right? I'm just so, saying, no, 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 Like he sold so much records. Like I would have thought he would have never came. I would have thought, I would have thought the D12 album was never gonna be like invented because I'm just saying, the nigga sold, where was that first LP? Like 10 million? Yeah, it, went, like, it went like diamond. Well, like, you know what? <laughs> we, we almost didn't come out, but we, we, we came smart. Rest of peace to proof. Right. He came up with this plan, like, you know, we, we, we kind of looked at this pattern of like rappers that sign um, other they boys, they never make it. Like we've uh-huh. seen Nas with the- Right. Uh, Bravehearts. Bravehearts. Uh-huh. We've seen all these crews, like the crews falling. So right. mm. when we got ready to come out, we had a, we had a big dilemma what, what song we was gonna put out. It was either gonna be Purple Pills or this song called Shit Can Happen. Was, was was just a street song, right. mm. you know? Because Detroit, I mean, D12 was really some street niggas. Right. So we had to make make a decision because the group wasn't feeling. So who pills. went with purple pills? I said purple pills. Right decision. Continue. <laughs> Continue. Wait, is that the vinyl that? that Continue. That scam did the artwork for that vinyl? Yeah. God damn. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> No, nah, that was purple. Uh, I don't know. Nah, <laughs> I mean, he yeah. should know at least. That, that was our first thing. I should have been before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. For anybody listening, Scam also did the Drink Champs logo oh, and all that sort of right. stuff for us. That's right. That's yeah, right. so you help, help him help me out, man. You know, I do a lot of drugs, man. So oh, I might be getting some shit wrong, man. Wait, so the purple pills, purple pills. So Yeah, so we got a choice between shit can happen and purple pills. Uh-huh. It was divided. We do a vote system. Uh-huh. So I think, so I, I'm not, don't call me, I think Swifty. Uh, Conniver and uh, Mr. Porter, I think they wanted shit could happen. Huh. Me, Proof, and M wanted purple pills. Mm. Needed Dr. Dre with the final vote. Okay, but what is a purple pill? That's just um, purple pill, ecstasy <laughs> yeah. pill. Oh, Goddamn, let's make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> I for sure knew that's who it was. I just wanted to clarify it, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to clarify it. So, okay, purple pills come out, okay, right? Oh. Is because you know KRS once said something very strong back in the days. He said, "Watch what you say, cause you attract it." Ooh, yeah, that's deep. So I imagine when y'all performed Purple Pills, there was all kind of <laughs> ecstasy being thrown at you guys. Like yeah. I just Not see only that. Uh-huh. That's deep what you just said because mm-hmm. we have a large fan base of mental health. Oh, I didn't mean to go there. I didn't. Mean, yeah. I meant to go to <laughs> drug abuse. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're not the same, but I can see where you were like. Wait, with mental health issues? No, with mental health fans. Oh, wow. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That have issues. issues. Yeah. <laughs> they really believe shit that we, you know what I'm saying? 
they won't talk but about it. But let's talk about the drug fans. Yeah, for sure. Now. For now, we'll get okay. back to God bless everybody. Right, it's, 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 like it's very hot. It's a very hot. I think it goes hand in hand, kind of. It's a very hot subject. But I mean. Talk about drugs. I mean, yeah, 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 drugs. The drugs, because, you know, me, I smoke a lot of marijuana. So when I go to the clubs, at first, when I first came out, they would throw weed at me and I would feel like a stripper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the fuck are you throwing weed at me for? Right. But I'm picking it up and putting it in my pocket like, yo, don't do that no more. I ain't feeling that. <laughs> and then I'm like, yeah, yeah. And they throw it to the side. I'm like, yeah. But, uh, so, but you know, I, that, that's what I said. That's what I said. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I said and it's what attracted me. So I would like to know the purple pill. Okay. Oh, and this is the height of ecstasy yeah. too. Yeah. In fact, I had a couple purple pills. They're phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to describe a couple of the show. Man, just wild, man. I just, I just seen some wild shit, man. Uh, like I, I, I remember one show, uh, this cat was trying to get my attention. He was in the audience like, Bizarre, I love you, Bizarre. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's like, Bizarre, I love you. I was like, yeah. And then he was like, I'm going to show you how much I love you. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> So 40 hours came on, and it was a big ass mosh pit. Mm. And he looked me dead in my eyes and um, lit himself on fire. He lit his head oh, on fire. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Nah, I'm not going to lie. Wait, we don't know if he's all right. Is he all right? <laughs> let's, make, let's, let's make some noise for him trying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Always been like, for lack of a better reference, mm -hmm. the ODB. Yeah, you can say it. Like the ODB of the of the group. Right. Like yeah. you've been yeah. the, yeah. the. I don't know if you're trying to be the standout. I just you're never, just the standout. Yeah. Like from the shower caps yeah. you used to ride to the you know. The just, shower cap was a joke. It was a joke. Yeah, we was going. We, we were doing our first show, the Lyrics Lounge tour. Lyrics Lounge. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we, we had just got signed, and uh, we was in Milwaukee. Mm. And I was in the bathroom, I'm like, okay, we about to go on stage. It's, you know, it's six niggas on stage. How could I be different mm -hmm. six niggas? This is a baby Wu-Tang clan. Right. So I had to do this little, you know the cheap ass shower cap? Yeah. At the little cheap motels, yeah. like, yeah. going to, like, yeah. like, yeah. It's for the Jerry yeah. Curl, it's for the Jerry Curl. It's for the Jerry Curl. So I came out to the lobby with it all, just for a joke. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, a prankster comedian. Uh -huh. And uh, everybody started laughing, and uh, Mark LaBelle, Eminem's road manager, was like, yo, that shit's hot. That shit's hot. Uh -huh. And then the next show I did, they had like a box of 40 shower caps. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I own over 2,000 shower caps. Goddamn, make some noise, shower caps. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the first, we're making some noise, shower caps. Just remember back in the day when the, I know you remember this era, the, uh, the, th the throwback jerseys? Yeah. 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 We, we was obsessed with it. got throwback still right now. Yeah, I used to yeah. go to Philly, try to find like- Oh, Michelin Nets though. Yeah, okay, yeah. you on point. Okay. Yeah, so uh, the I'm stylist man, started making shower caps to match whatever jersey I had on. Hmm. So, yeah, that's how serious it was. I, I didn't even know it was like that. One time I came to a, a video shoot and I didn't have it on me. Right. And Marshall was like, yo. <laughs> he was naked. Uh, what, what do we be a shower cap at? Right, it's like, I was like, what, what? I, I ain't wearing it today. It's like, like man, ghost face without jury. Go, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go, go get the shower cap. So we had to go back to the hotel to get the shower cap because they, they so, weren't filming that shit. On, 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 on one of these songs I just heard Marshall, he's like described how like he wouldn't do another D12 uh, uh, album record. anymore, yeah. record anymore. How did you feel when you heard that? Because I know personally, he probably discussed that with you guys. I don't know if he did or if he right. didn't, but it seems like personally he discussed that with y'all, but this is the first time he's saying it publicly. Yeah. Like, yeah. is that, yeah. am I accurate in that yeah, assumption? Yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay. I, I, yeah. I, I heard the record before uh -huh. it came out. I don't think the other fellas heard it. Right. But me and Mr. Porter heard it. Uh, mm. I thought it was cool, man. I think, you know, I think D12 kind of, you know, got really dampened when, uh, when Proof passed away. Yeah. Right. You know, because that was his baby. That was his thing. He, what, he, when you say his baby, you're talking about this, that was Pooh's baby being in D12. Yeah. Okay, like Kentucky. he kept y'all together. Oh, yes, well, he was the general. Right. right. Yeah, you know, Proof, right. like his beliefs, even him, like he kept everybody in line, like his beliefs and shit that he do. Like the shit that, like, shit that Proof do, I don't think nobody would ever, like no group would ever do that. Mm. Like he had this thing in our group, like no matter what you do, 
you still get the same publishing. So if you write the hook, do the beat, what? we all split the publishing the same. Mm. That makes it a lot easier yeah. instead of fighting them, bickering over mm. fucking records. But how many niggas? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you really got to, you know what I'm You got to be really a, a tight nigga. Nah, you got to be tight yeah, to adhere yeah, to that. Yeah. On that note, yeah. rest in peace, Proof, man. We oh, celebrate your career I'm over here. I'm going to do this for Proof. Yeah, man. come on. That's for Proof, man. It's early. It's early. <laughs> what I just drink? <laughs> the fuck is that? Somebody's spirit was in that motherfucker. <sighs> oh, you know I ain't never been drunk before. Okay. <laughs> so, God um, damn. You ain't gonna tell me? Oh, just tag them all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, just tag them all. It's, it's yet so, my winner. Because obviously, yeah, God, damn. <laughs> we, we all saw 8 Mile, right? Right. Oh, we shit. all saw 8 Mile. Oh, that shit. Break it down. And we all saw this wonderful moment. Oh, you talking? Okay. Oh, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what, what's what's this guy's man name? Um, that he beat and um, they got the meme of it right now with Nick Cannon on it. Oh shit! In the movie, yeah. man. Mackay Pfeiffer? No. no. <laughs> and and um, what's the guy? Papa Doc. Papa Doc. Papa Doc. What he said. So th there's a meme right now going on. It says, yeah, I've seen that. It says um. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my kids this is this is Papa Doc. <laughs> oh yeah. fuck! Up. And the, the, the uh, free world. In the free world. Okay, yeah, in the free world. Yeah. Okay, in real life, who is Papa Doc in the free world? Ooh. In real life, like how, how accurate is Eight Mile? How how accurate, especially that part. Pretty, pretty damn accurate. Mm. So that was a whole nother dude. Like basically, what Papa Doc is a symbol of, like. And, and basically, uh, back in St. Andrew's days, you had to belong to a crew, mm. a rap crew. Mm. Right. So Papa Doc, to me, is like a, a rap crew, mm -hmm. you know, with their boys. And, your, right. and the crew, basically, your group, they fight with you, you know what I'm saying? They, they like your gang. Because Papa Doc can have a crew in the, in the spot? What's his no, name? he did. No, but basically, oh, yeah. I'm saying Papa Doc, the image of, of, I think what they were trying to point was, like, how Detroit, how Detroit hip hop was mm -hmm. with different crews. Like if you feel like if you was a dope rapper, mm -hmm. which, which you are a dope rapper. <laughs> but I'm saying like right. you came to Detroit, you was brand new. You came to St. Andrews, right? And they'd be like, "Yo, where you from? You know, you, right. I'm from Queens, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. They're sizing you, you up. Yeah. Right. So basically, eventually, you would have so to you, choose a crew. That so you, you saying that, that that represent? Oh shit. Oh shit, hold on, hold on. The robot's oh, calling you? The robot. <laughs> Stevie J, you live on the podcast. You live on Drink Chess. Make some noise, Stevie J. Hey! <laughs> Yo, you, you left or you still here? I got some water. Ah, right, yeah, I'm right in the middle of my show. I swear, I promise you. That's no, what I, I, I walked into. My bad. I totally forgot. Damn. I still take that shit in my mouth. I got you. Good looking, my brother. Let me finish. I got you. I got you. All right, got you. My bad. My bad. I needed a favor from him. All right. Um, I'm so into this. So say Anthony, we was talking about, right? Right. Um, so you basically had to choose. You know, you would have to choose. Papa Doc. No, Papa. What was it? It's called Papa Doc in the, the mean. Free world. The free, free world. world. Free world. Papa Doc in the yeah. free world. Okay, so. So free world. So, like, all right. So basically what I'm saying, like, that that was real. Like, M, the little crew. Right. You, like. That's real. Like everybody had a crew. It, it had to be about 30, 40 crews. Like it signified a bunch of people y'all yeah, had to battle. Yeah, yeah. Basically, so like, if you was a new rapper, you had to get recruited to be in the crew. So mm. Papa Doc and the Free World to me was just another crew. The, the seasoned crew. Yeah, they was the, yeah, yeah, yeah. they've been there. But they're not real though. That's not a real Papa Doc. Okay. I think okay. I think I know where they were where they were going with it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the free world, man. Shout out to the free world. <laughs> so, I want you to describe Detroit for a second. Okay. Like, um... Now or then? Because I... I, I mean, anyway, because... Still, see, a lot yeah. of people don't understand the 8 Mile, 7 Mile. They they actually... The whole Motor City thing. They, oh, they, the whole, they don't the really, really get it. Like, like you know, um... I hung out with Trick Trick one time. Shout out to Trick Trick. Well, I hung out with Trick Trick many times. But one of my first times hanging out with Trick Trick. Um, Not I, to be confused with Trick Daddy from Miami. Not to be confused Detroit. with Trick Daddy from Miami. Both uh, I fuck with both tricks. Right. Um, uh, I'm in uh, I'm in okay. Detroit. Um, I'm in Detroit. Uh, he hang out. I got my show. We hang out. And 
I totally forgot and I took a show because I was out there <coughs> doing this role. I forget the name of this movie. This is terrible that I you should, you should pull up this. <laughs> was the movie. horror movie you were doing? Uh no, that's that's that was in Arizona. Oh. Movie uh, with trick? Uh no, it's oh we yeah, trick 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 is in there and um Wood Harrison is in there too. Um from um Joy Row? Huh? Joy Row? Joy Row. Joy Roy, yeah, yeah, Joy Roy. So I'm out there and in my scene, like these these gangsters are supposed to like run up on me. And I'm supposed to back him down, like, yo, fuck up, nigga, because I'm not supposed to be there. But the crazy shit is the guys that they got against me is from the streets. Right. <laughs> and the people that got after like me is from dudes. Juilliard. Like real dudes. These <laughs> guys, like, in between tastes, like, oh, my God, it looks so real. Well. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, they got Wait, your dudes are real actors, and the dudes that are coming against you are, are the real gangsters. dudes. Oh, I called Trick Trick immediately. I said, hey, you, we, I gotta replace, replace these people that is here acting. You need some authenticity I here. I need some authenticity here. And he was there like 15, I kid you not, maybe 20 minutes the most. And he's like, I'm on the other side of town. I was just like, man. He gonna come to like, I, 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 I don't think if I, I don't know if I remember I said send people, or he said, nah, Nori, I'm coming myself, B. And it wasn't like no danger because you know. No, you just wanted that. It just was like it just was like yo, I could like I kid you not in between takes these guys they and they're supposed to be from Detroit. I was just right. so offended. I was like, no, I, if I'm gonna be from Detroit. I'm gonna be the only fake person that's not from Detroit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like fake Detroiter. Like right. everyone else, I want authentic Detroiters. And right. Trick Trick came through. So like I said, I want you to describe the D a little bit for these people, like. People don't understand, and and it's uh, obviously Flint, Michigan crisis mm-hmm. going on. Right, yeah. They're telling me right now that Detroit is being affected the same way. A lot of other cities are as well. I don't really know about that. Detroit got some of the cleanest water in the world. Get out of here. We used to yeah, we used to sell our water to Flint, mm. and then they got cheap and mm. cut cut their plot supply off from us. And they started. Yeah, their government down. fucked. Like, yeah, the they went down there and tried to uh, open up their old pipes that they had. Mm, they haven't like opened in 15, 20 yeah. years. Oh. That's how they ended up getting up to bed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that governor nigga. Like, yeah, I, I see yeah, that yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to John Connor. He's from, from Flint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Shout out to John Connor, man. He's from Flint. So they, that, they fuck their shit up because they ain't yeah. want to keep fucking with y'all. Yeah. They should fuck with us. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't remember how many years this was. And I was traveling through Detroit, and I had a show. First off, I think it was in St. Andrews I had a show. Okay. And most of the gangsters niggas came out, and there was no security. Yeah. And this is the first time I thought about it, like, you know, like, I, maybe we should have security. Like, it was so much smoke, and I was just like, yo, and... It's not like Detroit. Yes, 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 yes. And, they had no security. And I drove to my hotel. And as I drove to my hotel, I can see a casino. Pride this shit. Ooh. I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. What? Then I'm like, I need some swishers. I need some split up rillos. They're like, all right, cool. We turn to go get two blocks away, two blocks away, pitch black. I know exactly what you was saying. <laughs> pitch black. <laughs> to get to the to get like to no the street lights or nothing? No. Nothing. No. The most scary shit you ever see. <laughs> most scary shit you ever see. Two o'clock in the morning, my dude. Like not just knowing when you go. Like just having a driver. You don't got. You don't. You don't got your. You didn't call right. your tr- chicks. You didn't call right. your motherfucking uh, channel boys. I didn't call these dudes. I'm just out there and just dolo um, with a driver and shit. He's like, you right. good? Like and you just driving through, and then you go from a casino where you know casinos bright lights everywhere. That's the thing. Is it, right. it wakes you up, and then just. Two blocks, or maybe two miles, I'm not sure, but it felt like two centuries. <laughs> like, like you're driving through, and then you get out of it, boom. And then, you like, it's back to like civilization. Like, back to it, is, that, is that not the crazy, I'm not, I'm not, first of all, I'm not, I'm not lying at all. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, what? it's, it's <laughs> interesting, man, we got this, this thing out there called the green light. The green light. And uh, basically, if you're a business, you can, um, you can get the green light um, in, in your business, and it, mm. it, it collects, goes straight to the police. Mm. But they, I think it costs like 10 Gs to get it or something. It's like an alarm? Yeah, to the police station. But if you don't got it, because the precincts shut down early in Detroit, so you have to leave What the person. fuck? Yeah, manpower. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. So if, if people see that you ain't got a green light on your business, 
it's a green light on you. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I, and I'm gonna tell you another thing. What's the hotel that is famous and it's outside? Like when you go, like it's outside but it's inside. Like when you you, you check in and you go to your rooms. I think you're talking about like the Renaissance building or something. I'm not what sure. Are you, what are you talking about? Oh. It's, it's, it's like, you know, you. you what? The, the Athenian? Yeah, and, and when you go to your rooms, you can see your homeboy because he's outside. There's a, a railing outside. No. Well, I'm gonna figure this out. I don't even want the MSC Suites. No, no, it wasn't nothing else. It's like a Detroit hotel. At least it was there. Right, right. Well, me and my homeboy had a glass fight or whatever. Right? That's besides the point. He had a glass fight? He had a glass fight because he. What does that mean? Like, because we was getting off the elevator and he just broke my glass and he just walked away and he ain't say nothing. So I just, like, I just looked at whoever had room service on the floor. I picked it up and just threw it at him, but he's on the other side of the hallway, all right? Wow. No, anyway. That's the thing, that's the thing, yeah. Uh, the, okay. Yeah, yeah, other side of the hallway. He's like, glass fight, that was <laughs> so, so, here's the crazy shit. We have a glass fight, he walks in my room. We, we're not trying to hit each other, but we're coming close to each other, like, right. Right. on purpose, right? But, like, we had a, like, an intercalatically conversation with each other, <laughs> and anyway, so he comes to my room, we're like, yo, we, we definitely gonna get kicked out. He comes into my room with his bags. I'm like, yes, I'm already packing my shit. I'm like, they're coming at some point, right? Let me turn on the TV. Detroit has a 24 hour murder channel. Like, yeah. <laughs> like oh, yo, yo, I, I, I pro- they had first 48 before first 48. Yes. I promise you, my nigga. Like, nigga, no, I'm not lying, my nigga. Listen, they had a, if you see Yusuf Brandon's, <laughs> She's such and such. She's wanted for murder. Oh, I know you're talking about late night too. Yo, late night, y'all. I kid you not. Like yep. they just, like just all, all they murder. just show you just every nigga that's wanted for murder. You're like, yo, get me out of Detroit immediately, my nigga. Oh my god, like everybody's out here wanted for murder. What the fuck am I doing here doing a show? Well, I'm, I'm, oh my god, oh, man. Exactly what you're talking about. But okay, so yes, but then, so and is is it really that? Because they say it's so cold in the D. Yeah. Is it really? What was Homegirl's name that did that song? I don't even remember. Damn, damn. <laughs> you're trying to make come back too, man. Your Detroit, your Detroit pass is going to be crazy. Yeah. You don't remember Homegirl yeah. name? No, no, it was like a viral thing Google that it, popped Google off. It. No, that's she, it. She, she tried to make a comeback. I think she tried to do a part two. What? You know. <laughs> Google, <laughs> what's her name, Has Come on. T-Baby. 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 Yeah. That shit was everywhere when she came out with that. <laughs> it's so, she thought it was hot. You know what I'm saying? She really I mean, it, so, so it now, was cold in the day. <laughs> So now you're part of this legendary group. Right, right. You guys do the, these records, you guys do these albums, you tour, you do what you got the shower cap. Now it's coming to the heart where it's back to you. Right. You go back to you. What is the feeling like? Um shit, a lot more hard hard work. Mm. You know, and be told about, you know, I, I knew I, I knew my position, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Just be bizarre. Mm. But uh I had a I, lay in one verse, keep it moving. Yeah, yeah. And right. we go home, go to the mm. studio, whatever. Mm. But then I, I signed my first solo deal with uh, this label called the Sanctuary. Mm-hmm. Matthew knows Beyonce daddy signed me. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. Hold on, you can't just Beyonce. Say that. <laughs> Matthew knows out here. <laughs> Matthew knows out here wilding, man. He, he writing books. His he nigga, he's he's like, TV, yeah, he's out here wilding. Matthew knows, calm down, man. <laughs> <laughs> you the homie, calm oh, down. Man. Okay. That's the homie, man. Yeah. Yeah. Him and uh, him and his uh, this cat named Max Goose. All right, I gotta just ask, uh, how did man? How does this happen? You, <laughs> Matthew knows. They say they call you and say, my my Papa Beyonce want to holler at the y'all. How did, what 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 does this conversation oh, exist of? Man, um, well, my manager at the time, Max Goose, he he was prepping me about it. He was like, yo. Uh, I, um, I think he said uh, Matthew is about to start this new label called Sanctuary, mm. and uh, you know I'm gonna let him let you meet him, you know, see if you want to do a deal or not. Mm. And uh, he came to our show in London, mm. and he and then I met him backstage briefly, mm. and he told me he wanted to do the deal and assign me. And, and I think the paperwork came a couple weeks later. Wow. Yep. Check. I, I, I I think he put me on a soldier remix. The uh, Destiny Child. Well, it was the overseas version, though. Oh, okay. But, uh, You're supposed to remember that. I'm gonna be honest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be honest. When you said I think, I said, wait a minute, man. man you supposed to remember that. 
that's crazy. Once, once you start unraveling me, man, uh, a lot of shit start coming back. But if you want a little shot, I respect that. <laughs> All right, cool. He wants a little shot. Let's take the last let's, shot. We go fish the tiger ball. Figure that shot is left. Oh man, I'm a tiger ball. Give me something else besides the tiger. I know I take this. You would take that? Um, it's a, the, the brown no, no, That's not a, um, no, that's a drink. Trust me, this that's is not, not a even liquor. You're better off yeah, with this. Yeah, yeah, you're better no, off with this. I was already pre warned about the tiger before so, I So, but this is, just look how small it is. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So, what is, what is your favorite you moment? What is your favorite moment? And, and it, I mean, it, I want, it could be whatever the hell you want it to be. I mean, you can give me a little is, more than that. Bro. What is, I got it. My favorite moment as far as performing or? Maybe performing, just in music. What was that moment where you was like, you know what? I love this shit. Uh, man. I I I, I like uh. So you know what? Get get him the rest. I want to do water 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 Yeah. No, I want all of us to have all tiger. Right, cool. Yes, yeah, true. Very true. I apologize. So your favorite moment, like, uh, probably uh. Or proudest moment. Proudest moment, probably uh, being on the cover of Rolling Stone. Mm. God damn it, you flossed on me. <laughs> Start there, Mr. Neal. I can't even fathom oh, no shit like that. I can't even fathom no shit like that. Relax, buddy. Don't run too crazy. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, okay, that's good. So, Gad, yeah, you was on the cover of the Roll of Motherfucking Stone? Yeah, Solo, yeah. hold on. Let's take Solo? a shot. Uh, no, 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 no. Everybody. Solo. Solo. Oh, you mean Solo? Solo. Solo. No, no, fuck it. No, but you're saying whatever your favorite moment was. Yeah. Fuck this shit. Yeah. That makes it better. Ah. That makes it better. Cause your proudest moment as a group, that's the Rolling Stone. Yeah, yeah. Solo yeah. artist. <laughs> no, no, but tell us why that's your proudest moment first. Ugh. I know it's harsh. I'm sorry. <sighs> just, just, the, just uh, that was like the biggest. I think the Rolling Stone is like the. That's huge, the, man. Yeah, the elite. Oh, right. Of, you know, magazines and shit. Right. So, and only rock stars was going on it. So. Mm -hmm. At the time. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't well, a lot of rappers on the Rolling mm -hmm. Stone. To this day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn. To this day. It's not too many. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight. You gonna be like an ASAP Rocky or somebody like that. <coughs> you know what I mean? Like right. a Pharrell, like type of shit. Yeah. Tight shit. You know? My people. Yeah. Cool with but, me. Uh, solo, I would probably say like um, a couple. Uh, two things. I, uh, I was co hosting Jimmy Kimmel before he came out. Whoa, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was the co host of Jimmy Kimmel, but. The night show? The night show. But I was on tour, and I told you how proof was. Right. I, turned on, I turned on a lot of shit for being on tour. Mm. So I had to turn that job down, because we was about to do a D12 tour. But did you do any of the, did you record any shows? I recorded like the test shows. I was I did like five test shows. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So you would have been like the guy on the couch? Or like Ed yeah. McMahon type I shit? Was like there, John I was there when he was doing like his uncle was the security. Oh, uh, the, the Mexican dude? Yeah, yeah. That would have been you? Yeah, kind of like, yeah, I was the, the sidekick. Oh, shit. Yeah, Damn, yeah. Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. No, that's dope. That, that, yeah. Whose idea was that? They just hit us up because of, you know, the videos and Bizarre and Shower. That's real, though. Right? And I think the second one probably would be Adam Sandler. I was supposed to be in The Longest Yard. Uh, and again, we was on tour. So. Nigga, you. <laughs> nigga, you got some regrets, nigga. Jesus. Jesus. But, but you did do reality TV weed. before it was I big. I thought you was going to say it's you ain't weed. do Tiana Marie record or something, my nigga. Like, this nigga done hit us with some crazy shit. All right, cool. Well, what was the reality show you was on? Uh, you uh, was on something on VH1, I think. I did two reality shows. I did uh, teaching uh, actors how, how to rap, like a rap contest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I did Celebrity Fit Club. Ah. Yeah. How was Celebrity Fit Club? Uh, it was cool, man. I, I, I was don't... the nigga named Dr. Um, Ian? Yeah, Dr. Ian. Dr. Who, Ian. Were the, who were the people on the show with you? Uh, the Celebrity Fit Club. Yeah. Uh, Sonny and Cher's daughter, the one that just had that. Yeah, that was hard. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Young MC. Young MC? MC. Yeah. I actually, I actually got mad at Young MC about some shit. On the show? Yeah, uh, Thelma, not not Thelma, uh, that, for the Cosby uh, Show. Um, um, it's wait, two daughters, Vanessa. right? Oh. Vanessa, Vanessa from the, the Vanessa. Cosby Show, and then the girl from the Parkers. Mm. How was that experience? Did you enjoy weird. doing those shows? It was it was weird, man. <laughs> wow, wow. You know, I feel like that would be an easy I thing. Do like, I want to do a reality show. I want to do a reality show. Um, I want to be a place where I'm not. Like, you know, the boss or a partner where I'm an employee. Like, yeah. I, 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 
Yeah, but the reality show they manipulating situations. Yeah, I, 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 it must be I'm weird. ready to be manipulated for a little while. <laughs> Just for a little while. I'm ready to be manipulated. Like, Fuck that shit. Come on, it's okay. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. It was cool. It was cool, bro. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a lot of setting up. Motherfuckers like mm. setting you up. Motherfuckers be right. trying to set you up. What to eat food and shit? No, set you up just for to look crazy to for look the crazy show. Yeah, like manipulating right. the situation. Yeah. Like one time I had a uh, we were supposed to. I was flying back from Atlanta to uh, uh, Cali every weekend doing mm. the show. So Saturday we would do like a, a activity, and then Sunday we would do the weigh in. And for some reason my um, car service didn't show up at the right time. Whatever, I ended up missing my flight. So did you eat Dunkin' Donuts after that? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, you sure? So, you kept your diet. Yeah, so I feel like yeah. this is what you about to say. No, look. So All Dr. Right. Ian, uh-huh. he called me the next day uh-huh. and was like, "Yo, man, right, you, you know we bought Black Brothers. You can't. You gotta get on the flight." I got into it with the production guy. Right. He's like, "You gotta get on this flight, man, brother. We black, you know." <laughs> so I said, "All right, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come out there for you." Uh-huh. So Sunday, I jumped on the flight, but I only came in for weigh-in. So. They told my team that I was on, yo, Bazaar is no longer on the show. He abandoned y'all. What do you think about it? So they taping their opinions. Because they know the team on the show? Yeah. Not knowing that I'm, I'm coming back Sunday. So when I get there Sunday, first thing they say is like, so Bazaar, you abandoned your team and, and never showed up, but they know why I really didn't show up, but it's for TV. Wow. And they was like, well, this is what you're... Teammates said about the same. And then Young MC was like, yeah. Foul. Young MC was like, yeah, I know he won't never come back. He, you know, he ain't serious about this losing weight shit. And I'm like, wait, Young MC? <laughs> <laughs> he said he didn't come here to the show. Bust the move. Bust the move. <laughs> he, 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 he bust the move on you? Yeah. Young MC, bust the move. <laughs> 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 just bust the move. He bust the move. That's what I mean. That's what kind of like, all right, this shit is. Right. You know what I'm saying? This shit, okay. is, this shit is fake, man. They, they literally trying to set motherfuckers up just for a story. All right. Like, fuck it. But mm. it was cool, though, man. I, I'm in acting school right now, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I've been there for like a year, year and a half. Or? And what you been learning, like? Man. Like, I, you I, did honestly, Shakespeare? You, you know, you did with, with the acting shit. Yeah, but I'm freestyling, I, bizarre. I don't know. How to act. I, 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 I've only played myself. I don't know that. He acts as Victor or Nori. Yeah, uh, Victor Nori or Slime or Jose or Dream Champs. That's it. I or mean, drunk, I, Nori. Or drunk Nori. Or drunk Nori. Or sober Nori. Or that. Yeah, I only play me. I only play a nigga. Like I, I cannot play doctor. I, I, like I look at the roles. I'm like, just leave it alone. Like, well, like, at some point, I'm gonna go and you know do it. But right. you like. Cause like if you said you were at the class, right? So you had to play like like Juilliard and shit like that. And, no, no, and, no. And, that's, um, um, and uh, Romeo and Juliet. No, no, no. I went to more like with the nigga, nigga, nigga. Yeah, like class. Serene, all right. Red. All right, so all right, all right. So how is it? Oh, uh, actually, man, it's crazy. Cause like I can get in front of a crowd of 100,000 100, people and rock, but uh. being in a room with twelve people, mm. like the cameras and yeah, the director, I'm like camera shy, man. Mm. Like you're good at like improvisation in front of yeah. people, like almost like freestyling. Yeah, I'll, I'll be forgetting my lines. And right. Shit, so, so you can't do a sex scene out of the window. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> out of the window for you, because man, you know, it took me a couple Have of days. Sex scene? Yes. You ain't seen me in State Property too. Oh yeah. That's oh, right. yeah. With Angie Martinez. Yeah. You ain't seen me. Oh, no, I didn't smash Angie Martinez in State Property too. I laid next to Angie oh. Martinez. Oh. But Damn. every other girl, I'm smashing. A couple of them smell like Bedussy. I'm gonna throw that out there. It's very easy not to get it. smell like puffery? Like, no. I mean, I mean, I'm not sure about it. I, I didn't smell every one of them. It was like five of them. You held your But it was like the one and a half ones I smelled, it was not great. Damn. So it was easy, because you're not supposed to get hard. There's like five people in the room. So it's yeah. like, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, because it's like it teach you, like, you know what? It teach you strip club politics now. Yeah, yeah. Now you go to strip club, bitch, you be like, look, bitch, I done had five I'm cameras acting. in front of me. Yeah. Bitches b- bouncing back on me. I had to not get hard. I don't got patience for a strip club. You don't? No. Okay, you describe this. I can understand that. <laughs> I got introduced early on by some white boys about the massage parlors, so. Oh, damn, oh, he went oh, straight, oh, straight oh, to the massage oh, parlors. Oh, oh, no. no. I thought it was just like, you in the jerk it and jerk it. Oh! <laughs> You in the happy, happy endings, okay. Right, right, right. You 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. 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 go straight to it. Yo, in Atlanta, they got most of every strip club has a massage parlor next to it. Only you know that, right? Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, you are definitely the only nigga that's ever said this. He goes to Madison and where's the massage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get straight to it, man. You're wasting too much. You're wasting money, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna get straight to the point. Yeah. You man, not that smoke boat, man. Do whatever you want. Put that in the ashtray for later. Go ahead. You're good. You're good. Okay, so let's talk about this Atlanta and this um, bizarre parlors. Okay. So, <laughs> bizarre parlors? Bizarre parlors. I just need to understand because, you know, I'm a married man and I'm never probably going to go there. I'm engaged. I'm, I probably, I'm going to go to the, the strip club part, but you're saying at a strip club, there's a next door to it is a massage parlor. Is the massage parlor with Asians? Yes. Asians is there? Or they exclusively. Come on, guys. I just, I'm, I'm Bad being up. Asians, too. Listen. <laughs> Come on, guys. He said, he said yes. Big titties. Yeah. 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 I must have yeah. gone to the Dominican one. <laughs> Where? In Atlanta? No, I went one time in Atlanta. And it's, oh, I can't God. understand what he's talking about. Oh, right. Nah, I was a youngin'. We go stopped to, by. Go to the one on Piedmont right next to Wendy's. Ooh. Right next to Wendy's. <laughs> 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 Get a spicy chicken nuggets on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> Big up to Wendy's. The sports and drink chairs. Oh, 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 the sports and drink chairs. Okay. So, um, so you engaged now. So yeah, I apologize yeah. for your engagement. Right. But uh, um, <laughs> I need to know the wildest groupie story. Oh, man. I need to know it. Damn. Wildest groupie it, story. It can be for D12, it can be for you. Oh, now, it has to be the chick that says, you're bizarre, so be bizarre. Nigga lit his hair on, <laughs> nigga lit his hair on fire for you, yeah. so you gotta, be, you, gotta, you gotta step yeah, up to that. Yeah, what does she do? She like yeah. the joint? Huh? Fuck. I, I done had some girls that wanted me to uh, fuck them while they wear my shower cap. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can see that. That's bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. I need to uh, describe it, though. Oh, okay. man. What no. happened? <laughs> I think you did. <laughs> for some reason, I feel like it's, a, it's in a Sheraton hotel. Did she want you to talk to her in the background, though? For some reason, you know Sheraton got some good right. shower caps. Right. Right. If Sheraton don't got shit else, they got some great fucking shower caps, man. man. You know what I mean? I think, uh, man, like, uh, a lot of our fan base, you know, 80 was like 80% white. Yes. And, uh, I don't really like. Them white girls love us. I don't like that. I don't really don't like dealing with white girls when it comes to goopy <laughs> shit. Really? Because they, they change their mind too quick. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they, you think you'll get Kobe Bryant out here? I mean, they change it in a second. So our security guard used to make this announcement all the time. He'd be like, hey, if you ain't fucking and sucking, get off the bus. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's real shit, shit though. That's, that's real shit. shit. That's real shit. We had those same speeches, <laughs> and we had the Joe Biden speech too. We also tell people, please don't piss on the goddamn toilet. <laughs> and don't shit in the toilet. Yeah, don't, don't shit in the toilet. Don't, yeah. don't forget, let me tell y'all about homie court. Homie court? Homie court. Okay. Okay. Yeah, y'all okay, yes, please lie. write that down, uh, Hass. Homie court. Yeah, don't forget anything about homie court. It's something Dr. Dre started. But, uh, yeah, uh, damn, what was I talking about? We was into about it too. The white groupies. White girls. Yeah, you know, white girl about, about telling Cause they say it's fucking or sucking. Yeah. yeah. The, um, security. yeah. So, so mad as a married man that so, I remember that. So you know. I apologize. I, I, I started, once I discovered uh, Backpage. Holy shit, I, you went there too? Yeah. <laughs> you went every city before you went to Backpage? And hold Backpage on. is kind of recent though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let so, me take that. Okay. I was on tour. It's right? battle, it's battle. I was on tour. <laughs> I got, I got, I got, I got, I got my Boston boys with me. Okay. I got City Boy D. Oh, shit. I got Coca. Rest in peace, Coca. And we Rest got Montego, right? So I realize my young boys is young boys, and I'm married and happy. Right. So I get them in a whole other vehicle. Right. Right. Wait for me. Get them in a whole other vehicle. I want to come home. As you supposed to. I want to come home, and I know how this ends. So the crazy shit is, but I'm happy for my young boys. We performing every night. Yeah. The girls is, is coming yeah. towards us. I'm like, all right, cool. All right. So I'm like, my, I'm like, my young boys, y'all don't gotta um, when I leave, y'all don't gotta leave. Y'all could, y'all could post up. The right. party don't stop because I leave. My young boys wouldn't even try. <laughs> <laughs> The niggas like, you out? You out. And they go straight to black page. I say, yo! Black page. Black page. I'm sure there's a black page too. In my mind, it's black page. Yo, and I'm like, 
yo, live the time. fucking time of your life. Like, get the free yeah, this, 90 this yard, yard. y'all. Cyber These pimping. niggas, oh, listen, let me, listen. Let me explain you the difference between white and black girls. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. A black girl, she knows she getting in your car at 2 or 3 o'clock on board and going back. They know what right. time it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Unless you talk. Yeah. I just want to talk. No, they're going to tell you. I ain't trying to fuck. You uh-huh. know, they're going to tell you. And right. a Latina. And a Latina. But, 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 but white you. girls, what I learned is like, you could, you know, you, you could be in there making out. Mm-hmm. Oh, you do the Casablanca? You make out like that? I can see other. Yeah. Yeah. You be, you be. That's the Casablanca. This nigga know the Casablanca. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Yeah, you can be talking to the white girl, like, mm, mm. and she'll just say, you know what? Let's stop. <laughs> We're going too fast. We're going too fast. <laughs> and then five minutes later, she say, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll suck your dick. I'll your dick. We don't even know each other like that. Uh. And you like, you just going through this all night. So one day, my my road manager, he was a white boy. I said, what you doing, man? He said, I'm about to call this up. This chick off back page. I said, what back page? He said, yeah, you could even see how they look, the picture, everything. Uh-huh. So I went to his room, like, damn, she bad as hell. Uh-huh. How much she want, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Am I coordinating myself doing it? No, 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 no. Like <laughs> no, no, no. You ain't the first nigga that read this shit on this, this show. And this will end up on back page. So. <laughs> Big on the back page, you, you want some sponsorship. Got that. Yeah. Good. So to me, it, it was much easier, you know, back in the day. It was straight to the point. Yeah. And then, right. At the end of the day, like, you know what I'm saying? If you, if, I, if you do got a girl, you did have a girl, you know your girl gonna call after the show. She don't wanna talk to you, all that shit. Uh-huh. Hey, I'm done. While these other guys, you know, they holler and they go into the you, motion. You know, you know, you know what, what my young boys told me that they told me that they older homies told them? This is, again, <laughs> my niggas from Boston, goddammit. I'm a big up motherfucker, Shout city boy D. I miss you, I haven't seen you. Uh, black boy Coco, Coco, you know, Sonny yeah. D's cousin, rest in peace, you know, we love you, brother. Yeah, right. And my taker was there. And I said, yo, why y'all spend money every night on pussy? The man, oh, y'all can get pussy for free. You know what he said? It's too much. You know what they said? We don't pay them to stay. We pay, we pay them to leave. leave. Wait, what are you talking about? Yeah. Back, back page, hard. you paying? Yeah. Oh yeah. no, then I'm I'm from the Plenty of Fish era. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you paying. Yeah, you know but you so, gotta yeah. understand, like when you're not paying, she might want to spend the night. Yeah, she might get emotional. No, you she, just she, you just say I, it. I Put the it. disclaimer. I, I see the homies in the lobby with they, the girl wearing your hat now. And you ain't got your hat on no more. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She, so this is cyber pimp and parody. She crying, you leaving, you know. Mm. Come on. And, and Detroit, you know them niggas got gators and all Cars. type of Call These niggas got Cartier car. frames and gators and silk shirts and yeah. all type of animals and them niggas be <laughs> That's how they move and like shit. That? They be stepping on the name of the Stepping in my mind. I was also that's told that's about it. Shout out to my manager Rico. I was also told that uh that uh you you real big on glasses, man. Yeah, I'm like, big on glasses, but yeah. I ain't, I can't afford these. So he, he told me he told glasses. me like don't even go to to drink champions, if your shit ain't real, cause Nori's gonna. Oh yeah, I'm walking out. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm in the glasses. I'm in, in the glasses, man. Kid and play, remember? Uh, yeah. That nigga, he is still going. Um, what's his name? Right. Play, play is still going. Yeah. But that's like some real Detroit shit. Like, yeah, it's been um, around for a long time. Like, you had to have gators. Like, yeah. you ever got pressured like to go to the prom? Like in the prom, did you have gators on the prom? <laughs> Uh, no, I ain't go to the prom. Damn, I ain't go to the prom either. Damn, I was hoping you, I was hoping you had a prom story, man, because I ain't go to the prom either. So, um, so b- explain us, homie, court, because we all got court in every crew. Right. So we want to explain y'all, y'all court. Uh, homie court basically started from Dre and his crew got passed down to us, and it's basically like rules. Who's Dre's crew though? Sorry to cut you off, but who's Dre's crew? What are you like saying? The dog pound. And okay. Like Snoop, yes, we just you know, anybody yeah, listening yeah, that don't yeah, understand yeah, what you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, and the way you said Dre, like you yeah. said it so nonchalant. Someone might think you said Dr. Dre. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Were, were. It, yeah. Uh-huh. It's called homie court. Basically, it was, it's rules for the homies on the road. Mm. When it comes to like, you know, females, whatever. No kissing so, them out. I feel like that's yeah, a rule. So we got charges. Like, you know, one charge could be like harboring a known freak. <laughs> Explain the details of that. Uh, Harbor kind of, known freak is like a freak that basically want to do everybody, but right. you take her to your. Oh, you like you, you take a hostage kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not real hostage, in case anybody's yeah. listening. <laughs> 
We got one called You kept the saber hole. Eating roadkill. Okay. After someone uh, done? Yeah, eating the girl's pussy. Oh, oh, that's Eddie Kicks. Oh, wait, yeah, 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 yeah. we'll, we'll totally do that. So, uh, who kid was the. But not fuck after it. someone fucked up. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's on the road, period. After the oh, fact. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Yeah. He's a so, sex retort. So, yeah. so, who kid was like a, a notorious habitual offender? Okay. A wow. road kill? Yeah. No, just a homie court, period. Uh, <laughs> okay. yeah, no, I can see, I can see. Who okay, yeah, a homie court. Yeah, yeah so, uh, we, uh, we, we was, we, like, so basically you, you gotta get a lawyer, uh, which is somebody, you gotta, uh, yes. somebody on the tour. Yeah. You got, uh, they'll, they'll put a subpoena up under your door at the hotel. Uh, <laughs> tell me what your, char- what your charges are. <laughs> like, time you a summons? Court. Yeah. Uh, and so you, uh, after you get summons, way further than us. After you get summons, you gotta get, find you a lawyer, then they'll find a judge. Is a lawyer you, one of your friends? Yeah, it gotta be one of you know, yeah. whoever you, whoever you want. Whoever on the road. Then like somebody like, you know, Paul or Dre will be the judge, whoever whoever's around. And then we we have this big ass meeting, everybody gotta come <laughs> down to the lobby or you know, they might even ask for a conference room at the uh, hotel or whatever. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then uh, get your charges brought up against you. <laughs> and then like if you lose, you get like <laughs> Thirty days, you gotta clean the bus. Oh, that's oh awesome. so some serious shit could go yeah, down. Like my you cousin, know. he lost the case. They made him wear his boxers outside his pants and say, uh, "I love D12." Do you? To everybody that walked past, like, <laughs> and he did. Crazy. Yeah, he had to. He lost. Yeah, if you lose, but, yeah, that's uh, real. When we started touring with uh, G Unit, mm-hmm. uh, I was wondering everybody like, "Yo, they they outlaws." <laughs> I mean, they, only, they don't listen to the rules. They're not gonna adhere to the homie court. Right. So one of my homies, he had this chick. We was, uh, I think we was in Seattle somewhere. We had this chick and uh, he, he said, yo, my, my chick is in the lobby. I said, yo, you need to go get her, man. Or G on the niggas is, is in the lobby right now. Right. Because, you know, 50, 50 keep like uh, about 30, 40 entourage niggas uh, around. Right. Uh. So I said, you, you better get her. And he, he was like, no, nah, I gave her the wrong number. She, she good, she about to come up. So I said, I said, bro, we should go get him. <laughs> and so we went down to the lobby, we grabbed him, right, bam. So we grabbed the chicks. So we getting on the elevator, and uh, Lloyd Banks, Buck, and somebody else was on the elevator <laughs> when it opened. So they in the back of the elevator. So the girls are in the middle of the elevator, and we're in the front. So they, we can't see what they're doing or talk about nothing. We, all we know is our, we're facing this way. So when the door opens for us to get off our floor, we get out, and the chick's about to get out with us, and I just see, uh, I think, yeah, yo, one of them pushing the button. And we said, what? And the, the, door, the door just went like this. We took our chicks, man. Oh, make some noise, <laughs> Give me some I got one more shot in me, but I could do watermelon survival. <laughs> so back page. <laughs> so back to back page. So everything's going on. I know I asked this earlier. Okay. And I know I'm rewinded. But as Eminem being one of the illest lyricists in the world, are you offended that Nick Cannon is really like going at him like that? Um. Because like I mean, Nick's yeah. my boy. Yeah, but for sure. He's not a he's not a, a rapper. Rap. Lyricist, lyricist, lyricist. Right. But he's but he does consider himself because we had the interview with him, and I feel like I he feels he's hip hop. So he feels like it's right. it's you know he want to respond, he want to battle. Yeah, he's, he's right. going at it. Yeah. Right. But why? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you, you, you think that was like bad that he involved other people, or he, you, you think? Yeah, I, I think that was Cordy. Right. For the, for the, the, the because then it makes rapping. you like automatically you, Jordan yeah. Lucas, have to yeah. be involved. Or, yeah. Well, 50 Cent. Who was it that said they want to involve mad people? Jordan Lucas, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think that was kind of corny. Especially well, who, when you got that? when you got four dudes in the video with Wild and Out t-shirts. You're talking about yeah. Nick Cannon's part. I don't know. I, was, I just come from an era where like, you know, the group with all of the same t-shirts on. All right. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? So to see them in the back with the Wild and Out t-shirts on mm-hmm. and then like, I mean, they didn't know what to say, man. You notice know, they only did four bars, and mm-hmm. then they got the, the chick singing, the, I mean, the dude singing the R&B hook. Right. It was just bad. What's Shook saying? I haven't heard it. What is Shook saying on the record? I forget. What is, what is Shook saying? He's saying, like, basically, like, like, Eminem don't respond in 24 hours. He should be kicked out of Detroit or some shit like that. He should be saying shit. Hey, man, try to help me win this appeal. <laughs> right. So I can hit the streets. Um, 
Uh, uh, have you ever bumped into the show again in real life? Uh, yeah. yeah, a couple times. Uh, first time I seen it was uh, at the in a club video. I'm about to say, I thought yeah. that that was the first in time. In a club video? Was in Vegas? No, that's another story with proof. Okay. I, I know you heard about that story. Okay. Uh, the, the first story, yeah, we was doing the club video, and uh, I just remember. Did he pull up with essays? Yeah, he had, damn, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, in the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he pulled up with some, with some, with some essays, it was kind of weird. Right. And uh, he stopped the whole party and shit, and was like, uh, and uh, uh, 50 of them stopped. It was, 50, the gang was there too. And we all stopped, and we, and so 50 was like, what's up, what you want to do? Uh, Looked at Suge, and I just remember Suge, he pulled a cigar out, he puffed it, looked at Fifth, and then turned around and walked away. Uh, but them niggas, I mean, they was ready, man. Uh, yeah, we, you know, that was the first time I seen him, and then the second time I seen him was in Vegas. Uh, and then uh, I think, I think Trick Trick and all of us was in Vegas, and uh, People was calling me from my room, like, yo, tri- yo, yo, uh, should night downstairs. <clears throat> so just as a fan, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we like, let's go, let's go see, let's go see. This after the other thing that happened. Yeah. So we all go downstairs to see to see should night, <laughs> and, and I remember uh, Trick Trick came downstairs, and either was either Trick Trick or one of his boys, one of them, somebody was like, right in front of should. They was like, man. He ain't even that big like that. <laughs> like right in front of him and shit. And uh, uh, I think Proof uh, came down there and uh, should, uh, reached out to shake his hand and Proof left him hanging. Oh, uh, shit. And uh, yeah, Proof was a wild boy, man. Uh-huh. And uh, Shook was like, oh, that's how it is? You, you ain't gonna uh, you ain't gonna give me my handshake? You know, let's step outside and, and talk. Proof was like, step outside? That's how, that's how Pac got killed. Oh, but, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? So I, I think that was the end of that. Should was pissed off. But, man, you know, we from Detroit, man. So it's like, we don't really get what's going on with the right. the, the, the yeah. politics and scary. Because, you know, we was, we didn't know what was going on at the Source Awards. We was the only ones that didn't run. Right. You know, we at the Source Awards when Should came in with the Army. And Proof was like, why everybody running? That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. so all I heard. Should not here! Uh, and motherfuckers started scattering. I was like, damn. At, mean, at the Source Awards or the Bible Awards? The Source, was it the Bible Awards? Where was it, in New York? No, it was in, was it in New York? What, when when the, E-40 knew, had a fight with Black Minister in the audience. It was mad fights going so on. So that's not the same the time with the Young Buck? No, no, this is, was this before that or after that? No, this is, this, this is before that. E forty E forty had a fight in the audience. Uh, Should came and like I think that Dr. Dre was uh damn was it the same time was the Young Buck shit? I don't know. I do a lot of drugs. Mm. <laughs> Some of this shit might be you know, a lot of back pain. Nah, oh, a lot of back pain. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see Mr. Lee walked out because there was noise out there. We're gonna do one more shot of some shit. You want to do Columbia White? Let's do it. All right, I'm in. Oh, if you don't, if you don't got your Colombian whites, where is that? Horrible. <laughs> you want to do Greek lightning? Don't. Nah. No, 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 no. I'm gonna stick with Syrah. I'm gonna stick with Colombian white. What do you want to stick with? Oh, good. <laughs> you gotta do one more. It's three's our lucky number. Oh man, I, I never did a shot ever, so doing two is. Yeah, and then three, and three is. Well, you I mean, might don't, as well do don't what you like. Don't like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm over here nauseous, man. I'm stuck huh. You ain't nauseous. <laughs> you want to drink chance. You know, this is where we salute our legends, man. I know, You know man. what? And the fact that you've been doing this, man, since motherfucking 96, 97, out here doing this, man, uh, 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 continuing to live life, man, and having fun, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's because I, I'm surprised, like, you and him would have fell out at one point. Right. Did y'all fall out at one point? No, no, no. You never got mad at them, like a little yeah, bit? Yeah, of course. Okay, yeah. all right. They're friends. <laughs> They're real friends. Well, that's real friendship. Yeah, if you yeah. Just, yeah that's real friendship. Yeah, yeah. I get mad at EFN all the time. It's a fact. He get mad at me every day. It's <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. Um, no, me and Pone, same shit. Come on, yo, you, you want to, this is light shit. This is, this is shit. I'm good, I'm good. You're good? You're better off. And I've been doing dark too, so. Yeah, yeah, stick with the dark. We're going to give you some dark in your shit. This is three shots. Everyone got a little right. 
Hey, did you find our trophy while you were out there? Oh, come so on, baby. Come on, I know. You know, yo. Yeah. Do I know my shit? <laughs> come on. Where'd you find that, Mr. Lee? In the truck of my car. Now you can take this. This is watermelon. <clears throat> no, I'm gonna do the dark. Okay, I right, do the dark. All right, because I was just saying, <laughs> through our bloodline, you're gonna like it. Okay. Cause it's watermelon, goddammit. That's out of the bag, crazy. It's, I, I'm black, I can say it. I'm black, I can say it. So what? If we are poor white, you are chemically. If you are black, you are chemically connected to like this shit. I'm just telling you the truth. Oh, I like to see the science. I'm that. black, motherfucker. For real. And I'm black, black. I don't know skin or nothing. Like I'm black, black. You know what I mean? That's it. I don't got no more. Can't roll me another drink. Roll me another drink to go, man. Give me, give me yeah, two. Yeah, make it very, make it tiny. Yeah, I'm gonna smoke one of these right now. Just, just, just a little bit more than that. Come on, a little bit more. Nah, no, it's a little bit more. A little bit more than that. A little bit more than that. I'm gonna be throwing up on drinks. Alright, alright. Salute, salute. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Right. It wasn't like a spot probably that was on. No, nah, he did that here in Miami list. too. He was coming to some underground yeah, shit. Yeah, Nobody would come to this my motherfucking right. brother. Yeah, that, that was like a big moment in my life where, where I definitely felt like it was reachable. You know what I'm saying? Right. To start doing this shit. Why? Because you was like big. Yeah, man. And then just by him coming to our element, right. and, and, and I mean, he was in a cipher. Right. You yeah, like physically saying? seeing someone. Yeah. But you didn't see somebody who made it at that time, no, like being no, a cipher. No, when me and M, we used to go to, to North, we used to rap at Because there's a famous story that M gave Fat Joe his demo tape five times. He did, yeah. Wow. He did, yep. Like, yep. <coughs> so that's like a Wendy Day days. Because if it wasn't for Wendy. Yo, we got to have Wendy Day on, man. Yeah. 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 Wendy, Wendy kind of put us on in a way because uh, she uh, she was coming to Detroit for our music convention. I told Marshall like, "Yo, we gotta we gotta go see Wendy. You know, she, you know she's responsible for all these people getting on. Not cash money. Yeah, cash money. Yeah. Word. So we went up to the hotel. He so walked Eminem up to her. was following the cash money. Yeah, that was hard. It's hard. Who wasn't at that time? No, I'm just cash saying. I need to know this though. I need to know this though. Yeah. This is he gave hip hop he, he gave her. He said, "Hey, my name is Marshall." He gave her her demo. His demo. And she was like, okay. And we walked away, we, we actually left because we had no business being at the convention. We couldn't afford it. Right. We didn't have no money. But, but he said Marshall? Yeah. Not yeah. Eminem? He didn't have Eminem at the time? No, nah, he, he said his real name. When he, like, I guess she felt like he was, she was older or something. That's the most non hip hop shit <laughs> in the world. I almost never say, say well, it's pre Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Okay, all right. So uh, she called him up a week later and was like, yo, I, I, I fuck with your tape. Uh, um, I'm doing this rap battle in um, Cali, and it's signed rappers versus unsigned rappers. Oh. And uh, she said this guy named Juice is going to be the team captain. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know if y'all, if you follow yeah. around battle yeah, rap, yeah. you know about Juice mm -hmm. from Chicago. He was like, it's crazy, like the endless battle rapper ever back mm -hmm. then. And him and Marshall actually battled before. Mm -hmm. So Juice wanted Marshall to be on his team. Mm -hmm. And so I think it was Juice, Marshall, and a lot of people don't know Tech Nine was on that. He was? Team too. And this is not the Rap Olympics thing. Rap Olympics. Oh, this is that. Yeah, so they okay. flew out there and then they battled most of them cats from Freestyle Fellowship. Oh, yeah. shit. Like, uh, you know, AC alone. Yeah. All of Medusa. So they battled. And, um, you know, if it wasn't, but if it wasn't for Wendy Day, you know. Um, Pick up the Wendy Day. That's yeah, all. Make yeah, some noise. Yeah. 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 That bizarre, I'm gonna be honest. All right. Something that been fucking me the whole night. <laughs> Tonight only? Yes, right now. <laughs> Just this whole time. You got on a jean jacket, plaid sleeve. Fur top. <laughs> Fur top. <laughs> I have never seen nothing He's like this. Bizarre. You're in four different weather channels, my brother. What are you doing? What is that? Who is that designed by? I need to know. Like, I, don't, I have no idea. Fur. With the V-neck. Listen, with the V-neck. Listen, because listen, the jean jacket, sleeveless, goes for Miami, right? Okay. You're great right, in Miami. Right, right. But then the, the lumberjack, that says Detroit all day, right, right? Right, But then the... The the fur the fur says Antarctica. <laughs> so I'm wondering where were you going with this? Oh man, <laughs> man, I'm from Detroit, man. We we really into dressing. And you and y'all think you're gonna be cold everywhere? <laughs> yeah, it's cold because I don't know if you realize you're in Miami. Okay. You don't need a fur or anything. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need uh, Uggs, none of that yeah. in Miami. But. So ain't, ain't no cold weather out here at all. Huh? I mean, no, we, we, yeah, listen, I mean, we get it for two hours. Yeah, and you know what? I can't complain. I can't wait to complain to my people up top. I'll be like, it's 40 degrees out here. They'll be like, motherfucker! It's 12 below! I'm like, God, oh, man. You know, our 50 degrees, it's, 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 I got on a goose with a shorts. It's wow. phenomenal. Very limited. It's very, wow. but, um, yeah, wow. so where's that? Is that a design you made, or that's something uh, that no, it's actually it's, said? That's bizarre, Detroit design. So they didn't pick it up. No, it's, it's just black, actually, it's a black uh, company out of uh, L.A. called Mikal. Mm. Uh, I might be fucking their name up. Mikal? McCoby, uh, my bad. Oh, I was about to say, Mikal <laughs> sounds like a tequila company. Yeah, well, uh, they, they're a black owned company. McCoby? Yeah. Oh, okay. And they catalog, they got a lot of shit with fur on them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So they didn't make that for you? Because in my mind, no, I felt like this is uh, you. I, 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 yeah, I wish they would have made it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, you know. McCoby? Yeah, McCoby. Shout McCoby. out to McCoby. Shout out to McCoby, goddammit. <laughs> That was the Nori plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah got that. So I'm gonna take another shot of watermelon. Come on, bro. What are you? I got doing? one left in me, and I'm gonna be honest. I gotta go home. 
Yeah, all yeah, this. You gotta go? Nah, I don't gotta go. I just, I just, <laughs> You know, it's just something no, no, you gotta we, say. We stay here, we go, we stay right there. Oh, we yeah, talk, yeah, we, we yeah, do more. Yeah, 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 we talk, we both. I don't gotta go, though. But, um, let's take another shot. I mean, you don't have to. Yeah, I'm going to have to. So, um... <laughs> yeah, yeah, Finn, you got a question? I want some Ciroc. You do? Yeah. Goddamn, listen, this clip to Paul. <laughs> Last time I seen him, he said the Ciroc was lighting on the table. That is not the truth. He did not say that. It's light it over. Ah. Sorry. I see if I have my robot. Big up to Rob Timmy. Hey, can you tell me what the robot does? Robot man? Timmy, do you, you don't know I got a robot? Do you no, see my dick? I would like to know about that. Oh, I got a robot, nigga. Like, like, look, niggas got, niggas got the first, you know, first he, chick. He, you he, know, he one of the Jetsons, right? First now. chick to fuck, like, you know, you know, Trina from, you right. know, such and such, or first brother, so, uh, you know, not, not, excuse me, not Trina from rap. Yeah. Do you remember? Oh, first <laughs> Keisha from such and such. So. Yeah. Who got the first robot, nigga? Hold on. Someone puts it on the plate and brings yeah, it to you. Yeah, what I do is I can program it or I can tell it. So I can say, uh, go ask for somebody for right, something. It's, it's, it's a it's a perfect hangover. Okay, let me tell you. When I when I'm hungover, uh, which I'm tomorrow. Hungover. So tomorrow you're gonna use it. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna be hungover tomorrow. All right. Um, but when I am hungover, what happens is I always want my water, but I want to get out of bed. Right. So I just want to lean over and drink some water, but. My fucking son is fucking of age where he thinks it's not cool anymore to bring me some fucking water. Right. So, you know what? <laughs> Fuck you, you fucking foul dude. Can you replace him with a robot? No, no, no. I can send the robot to the kitchen. The kitchen will beat my son in the kitchen. All you gotta do is get out of his room, put the, ro- the water in the drink, and the chair will come right to my room. Right, exactly. Damn. But now, suppose I don't want it. Let's suppose I, I've sat down and I'm in the bathroom. That's what I programmed <laughs> it for. I'm in the bathroom and I want to run out of I ran out of swishes. It was the same thing. I put the swishes on the joint, bring me right to the bathroom. <laughs> I thought you were about to say run out of tissue. No, no, no. no. You know what? I ain't even. It's a foul nigga I am. I ain't even think about tissue. I didn't think about running out of tissue. Like, I, thought, tissue. I, mean, I thought about running out of weed and cigars. <laughs> he might have had some swishes and tissues. Yeah, I might have my ass with the weed, man. Right, Fuck right. it. Like, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm the first rapper with a robot. I think you niggas got to recognize. And you're not going to do it. No, you don't need to. You don't need to. You don't need to. Salo. Salo. Amigo. Oh. Oh, boy. So. Jesus. Dr. Dre. In the studio. Man. That's what that shot told you. was making the album. <laughs> uh huh. What's going through your mind? Man. First of uh, all, you know, I never smoked no good California weed, so I was damn near comatose every day at this time. Mm-hmm. You know? Was it Scott and, uh, Storch who was smoking the weed? Yeah, he, 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 you know, he was one of the dudes I smoked with because, you know, I'm the only person in the group that smoked. Scott so. Mailman. Mailman, mm-hmm. Scott. So, you know, whoever else was around, but uh, man, it was it was dope, man. Cause uh, just watching Dre create, you know, what I'm saying like like the way he records, he had the musicians in the studio, and they, and they just keep the that player running, right? And, and they just playing yeah, shit, and they, and they just, just sampling it. And he'll just for some reason like his drums will just sound like. A fucking storm. Like angels comes. fucking. Yeah. You know, angels fucking. <laughs> you know, you used to go through like two or three speakers a, a week. 
Wow. He used to blow. Oh, he would blow him. He would blow him, like two or three. Yeah. So definitely the angels are fucking. The angels are fucking, baby. Yeah, man. So just seeing him him and their raw creating, because he gives you the skeleton beat first. He gives you a skeleton of the beat. Then He produces around the vocals. Yeah, after you after you rap it in, that's when the, the magic the sauce come over there. Mm. Yeah, yep. You ever work with Premier? No, never work with Premier. What? What? Never. We didn't make that happen on Dream yeah. Channel. Yeah. <laughs> Premier, bizarre. What yeah, the Yeah, you fuck? know what? Hold on. Did... You that? No, that was Alchemist. The, the, okay. The, Alchemist is uh, that's, that's his white too. brother. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's his white little brother. That's I, all I white I can hear you brother. on a Premier B. It'd be crazy. Yeah, yeah. That'd be dope. And him and Roy sound great together. Yeah, as well. they do. Yeah, right. yeah, they Shout do. out to them, man. They got, they got a new album coming out or something. Or something. I think they Prime? do have another Prime? one. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. they have another yeah. Prime. Oh, they had one. Yeah, they yeah. yeah. had one. But, man, is there anything else you want to tell the people, man? You let us know. Oh, uh, man. Uh, look for Bizarre, man. I got a podcast I'm working on. Yeah, you oh, podcast shit. at CSS? You sound to? C. Uh. You, you signed the CWW? CSS or CBS? CBS? Is it CBS? No, CBS. CBS radio doesn't exist no more. Those are subservient. Yeah, CBS, uh, um, I think Ready? I'm off that deal. Okay. You had a CBS deal? Yeah. yeah. For I'm the good. podcast? Yeah. Mm. Oh, no, shit. I, I think it was through somebody else that. It was through somebody else, but it was so no, sorry. Because right. they, they got bought like three times. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We've been going through it. Yeah, and we're about yeah. to grab our rights back. Yeah, all right. Yeah, oh, now you says too much. Okay. Y'all, y'all, y'all that's not too much. Oh. That's good. Okay, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Y'all started at CBS, right? Yes, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man. Big up everybody who started with us at CBS. Yeah, no, nah, shout out CBS. <laughs> we got no problem with them niggas. Man, uh, I guess that movies. Yo, hold on, this is the first time, I'm sorry, but okay. I'm let you finish. It's the first time I had a Snoop Dogg roach. What? You know, that, that's, how, that's how Snoop Dogg roaches look. It's a big ass motherfucking roach? What, what's, what's that weed you got over here? That shit is... I'm gonna be honest. The first shit you were smoking was crazy. The shit I, I came with was cereal milk, jet fuel, and gelada. So what I did was, I'm gonna be honest, it's the reason why I ain't passing to nobody. Mm. It's not because I, cause I, cause I didn't wash my hands before and after. But I rolled it on the toilet. Right. So I just don't feel so you're comfortable. That, you're that courteous. <laughs> no, courteous. Because like, 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 I just went, like, if you, like, told me, like, yo, why? Wow. Yo, um, so, so you know, where you, you really roll this shit out. I was, you know, I was shitting at the time. <laughs> I wouldn't want to smoke back right. after that. Right. So, you know, so I, I felt very uncomfortable. Like, you know, I don't pass those. Like, when I rolled it on the toilet, some of the best rolls come out on the toilet. Right. But I don't want to share that with everybody. Right. Not that I don't want to share the weed. I just don't want to share that the fact that I might have been unsanctuary the time. Unsanctuary. <laughs> unsanitary. You know what I mean? No, but it's in the sanctuary uh, because you know, you're unsanitary. I took a shit after I rolled, but it never took a. I mean, I took a shower after I rolled, after I shit and, and, and everything, but I don't take a shower before I roll it. So. You know, it might not, it might, it might not feel good to everybody. Else. <laughs> this is a dirty, so, complicated story. You know what I mean, yeah. it's to me. It's to me, because this nigga's like, it, Sonny was smoking, and he doesn't give a fuck. He was like, I smoke it, I smoke it, did you roll it on the toilet? And I, I got the worst case of diarrhea, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, niggas don't care, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, Robert, I'm so sorry. I'm no, sorry. no, but, 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 You got sorry, anything you want to tell the people? God damn it, please. Oh, uh, man, I got a new album out called Rufus. Rufus, which is Rufus? my real Rufus. Rufus. I know that's your name. It's your first yeah, name. That's Rufus. my real name. Yeah. I ain't gonna fl- lie. You like the that's third it. nigga I know named Rufus. <laughs> <laughs> that's black. Yeah, two that's two black. people. Because yeah. you know, like you gotta be like really from the south south <laughs> to be named Rufus. Like that's some real south eating eating squirrel shit. Like <laughs> when you eat, when your name is Rufus, you ate a squirrel. Why before. you in the south that way, bro? Oh, like, I ain't seen it. Relax, buddy. I'm saying, look, relax. Like, look. I know we're the Republic of the South, but you we're still the know, South Miami, brother. You all know like a real nigga, like a city, 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 like from named Rufus. When you, like Rufus, your parents are from the deep south. Am I lying? Yeah, I'm a junior, yeah. And your parents from the south, though, right? Yeah, yeah. South, but you south, don't south, eat right? squirrel, like he said. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> he said, he's I'm, thinking about, he's like, as a matter of fact, this fur right here. Yeah. <laughs> The meat was yeah. quite scrumptious. Listen, man, I know niggas named Rufus. I'm telling you, man, you wow. ain't squirrel or something. Wow. <laughs> Raccoon or something. Possum. Possum. Possum, man. You ain't something. Come on. Everybody say it all tastes like chicken. Yeah, everybody say it tastes like alligator. <laughs> tastes like chicken, nigga. Like, this is the reason why we gotta stop eating chicken. 
I don't eat that you shit. You don't eat chicken. Because when everybody yeah. says it tastes like chicken. And I'm sorry. You eat chicken or no? You don't eat chicken? Yeah, I eat chicken. I'm, unfortunately. Okay. I still eat chicken. I'm still a, <laughs> I'm still a Negro. So you're a meatitarian? Yeah, I know. I don't eat pork and beef. Okay. And um, any red meat. Okay. But um, pollo, I'm sorry. Uh, my little chill on the boil, con hueso. Uh, con hueso? Mucho mayo ketchup, con salada. <laughs> mayo ketchup. Uh, mayo ketchup. It's mayonnaise and ketchup. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mayo ketchup? You know what I Listen, um, listen. You, I don't yeah, want you to do that? I don't want you to call me. I don't me. Hispanic, Because man. as a real Hispanic, don't you dare go to Publix or Walgreens and get a mayo ketchup. It's horrible. <laughs> no, don't get the bottle yeah. shit. Don't get the you bottle shit. Yourself. You gotta make it yourself. Yeah, yeah you can't get the bottle oh, shit. Listen, listen, you white people who made that mayo ketchup. I <laughs> hate Do you. Do they call it mayo ketchup? They call it mayo ketchup, yo. Disrespectful. It's disrespectful, yo. Like wow. as a Latino, like like it's like, yo, you can't do that. That's like getting Aki and sawfish out of can. Wow. You can't wow. do that. Yeah. Like, I, somebody needs to be kicked in the neck. Do that. Kick you in the neck. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know I'm a fat boy. Cause you know. Oh man. What's your? I'm sorry. As as a community, we, we both eat a lot. What's your favorite oh. food dish, baby? Oh. Uh, nowadays it's salmon. Jeez. When I was younger, it was a porterhouse steak. Mm. Ooh. My grandfather you. told me if a steak don't cost, it would cost less than fifteen dollars than a real steak. Damn, you made it expensive mm. for you. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Yeah, man. I mean... What's your favorite food, motherfucker? I'll take a fucking piece of pizza, man. <laughs> All right, back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some Anthony's yeah, pizza. I want to ask you a question, man. Yeah, right, please. As a rapper, mm -hmm. doing this for so many years, like 20 years, would you say that you were addicted to the road? And like when you was at, when you get home and get breaks, you feel like, yeah. damn, I need to get out. Like, you, yeah, that's, that's a, yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Thank you for pulling my card. Um, no, absolutely. I used. I was addicted to the road. I, I think I'm addicted to hotels. I stayed. I stayed yeah, hotels I was like to six hotels months too. at a time. Yeah. Is it yeah. addicted or you're used to it? That I'm might. Just, that might just, be a difference. Yeah, I feel like when I'm at home, I'm. I'm here temporary. Like, what's the what's the next move? You know what I'm yeah. saying? I, I don't. I don't get just being. I'm just at home. Like even when I'm home, I'm addicted to that life. Yeah. I want to. Sometimes be, I get a yeah. hotel room. In, this, in yeah. where I'm from, like stay there for a week. No, I get that. Yeah, I totally get that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, it's I'm 42. Crazy. Uh, I signed a contract since 18, so I've got more of the road life right. than I have of the other life. So I rather feel like that sometimes. I rather just like feel like I'm just coming downstairs. Wait, 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 how long are you staying? Right, that's four shots, right? I got five left. Oh, come on. Well, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. It's okay, I'll be with myself. It's okay. I don't, I, don't, I don't need none of you niggas. Ready for this robot? Yes, yes. That's what I'm saying? <laughs> how y'all niggas in Kakasaki all day shoot program? You know what I'm saying? In Kakasaki? <laughs> no, you all know what I'm training there? Yeah. yeah. He was like, shoot program. Nigga, Like, y'all ain't gonna help me out? None of y'all niggas? Like, listen, you ain't gonna help me out? No. Do, 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 do Columbia White. Ah, and somebody help. That's hardcore. Somebody help us all. It's softcore. Somebody give us all. I mean, somebody take a shot for us Come on, twin, you step it up. All right. I'm gonna look at Slavs. Scandal. Yo, bizarre. I just gotta ask for for you know for Dream Champ's sake. Can I get one more? I ain't gonna lie. I'm being honest, and my friend. I fuck with you. Everywhere I ever saw you, have always been kind to me, always been good to me. Right. Always been crazy. <laughs> uh, For Dream Champs classic segment. I think I understand the answer already. Alright. But bizarre. Do you eat ass? <laughs> um, I feel like we know the answer to this. I feel like you're an ass. If we're wrong, story, then we're like you're an ass or sore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, we have a friend named Eddie Gates. He called himself an assosaurus. Like, okay. He's a, a, he's a ass eater. Yeah. Yes, well, I did ass I don't eater. fucking ass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, he fucks and then eats it. He uh, fucks okay. and eats it. it. I'm gonna protect <laughs> I'm gonna protect it. He, he does. He said that? <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> no, you got me going. No, no, no. Go I don't think he'll deny that. No, I don't know. I, I, I've never known that. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. 
want to deny it. And it's, and it's your I don't think it's bad. I, I mean, I'm through you, so I'm going to make sure. <laughs> I'm protecting my, it's my own relationship. I'm not going to. You haven't protected gonna, Sonny? No, I don't care. Sonny can protect himself. He's, <laughs> he's okay. I'm Hey, Sonny, you want a shot? Wait, have a shot of Colombian wine, Give a shot of Colombian wine, brother. By the way, I don't know if you know, Bizarre, this is what the Colombians drink. They sniff up some cocaine. (laughs) (laughs) And then they smoke a little cocaine. And then they drink a little cocaine. And then that's it! But I'm Cuban, so I see you Colombian wine. And it's sugar free. Hey, what are you doing? I thought he was gonna drink Colombian wine with me. Wait, wait, out of everything I just said, did you point out that that's sugar free? <laughs> no, 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 I'm poor. I want that's to make sure you That's the only thing you absorb from everything that you said. Yo, Sonny's wilding right now. Sonny's big wilding. I'm not gonna be lying. I've been trying to trade him back that crazy hood for a minute. <laughs> Relax. Call him. Call him. Cheers, brother. We got two niggas taking a shot. Right. Hey, we good? Ah, hey, we good. My boys don't play. My boys don't ah. play. Y'all do not play. Ooh. All right. Damn. This is real. This is real shit. Holy All right. shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I thought, I, thought, I thought when I came here, you was going to like fake like you was taking a shot. And, oh, no, nah, man. Like, right. this, this job is detrimental to our health. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know what it is? I'm going to be honest. I didn't even really get to this. And hip hop, we gotta stop praising each other. Right, we gotta start sure. saying I appreciate you. Right. You know, D12, like you said, <coughs> was a group that uh, you know came up there with Wu Tang. Right. It came up there. What stopped it was Proof. You know, right. I was that was a question I was gonna ask you was how it was after Proof. But you know, me looking at your face and me looking at your eyes, I don't even want to ask that question right. because you know why? I already know the answer. Right. And I know the audience is probably like, fuck that. Right. You know what I mean? And so that's totally up to you. That right. was my totally last question. If you want to answer how it was after proof is, but I'm going to say it like this. Right. I don't mind either way. If you want to because, you uh, you know, we probably never get M. We'll probably never get some of the Could, could you think M would ever do something like this? I don't know, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, don't I don't know why I feel like he would. I know that. Right. It doesn't seem like he would, but I right. feel like he's so hip hop. But, but is, is that something you want, to, you want to end this on? It's like you know, s- describing how. If, if, and if not, that's totally fine, bro. You know um, what I mean? Just, you just describe. You know, right. for us looking from the outside in, and you, you know, describing how much of a leader he was. Yeah. You know, it was a, it was a lot to process at once because for the first ten hours of it, they uh, they had me as a suspect. And, uh, but I was I, I was in Atlanta. I lived in Atlanta. I would I guess wherever he got hospital, he got dropped off at. The dude told the people at the emergency that his name was Bizarre. So trying to process him passing and being named as a suspect, you know what I'm saying? It was. Well, I didn't know that. I yeah, know. it was it was a, it was a lot, lot to process. So, uh, but I think. You know, the third album, we kind of rushed into it to try to get the pain away. Right. So we, I think we went to Cali, and we started working on the next D12 album, and I don't think shit was coming out right. Proof was literally, like, like the leader. Yeah, yeah. Optimus Prime. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So it was like so many decisions that needed to be made and th- things needed to be done. It just, that leadership just wasn't there no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it was a big thing, man. Like, the funeral was like, you know, proof was like the mayor of Detroit. We call him the mayor of Detroit. Right. So it was like, it was like super, super hood, man. Like, right. like don't you know the part where they get like the, uh, the preacher to tell everybody to say some words before, right. you know, before they close the casket or whatever they had. Dude up there like, yeah, man, P was my nigga. <laughs> you know, and the preacher's like, please, no cussing in the church. You know, me and him, we used to fuck on hoes. Everybody like, damn. So it was this one part that was real famous in our city. So this lady, she gets up uh, on the stand. She says, hey, I don't know proof, but my father was David Ruffin from The Temptations. Mm. She said, so I know about death and being in the music business and this and that. And I just want to say, you know, Shout out to Dr. Dre, Eminem, you know, helping us put the city on. 
And she said, and I just want to say, go buy my new son album, <laughs> January 24th. And everybody just starts saying, Ooh, oh, shit. Like, Ooh. And she was still talking. And then oh, so, so, so I was just like, what the fuck type of food oh, is God, this? Mo, I, no one knew. She said, because she started out speech, no one, I don't know who. Yeah. And then she went to promoting her son's album. Damn. <laughs> It's so cold. It's so cold. <laughs> and then outside, niggas were selling t-shirts. You know what I'm saying? They had music bumping. It was just like, damn, this shit is wild. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it was a, it was a lot to process, man. Yeah. And you know what's the crazy shit? Some people appreciated if he was alive. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. He did that while he was alive. But I mean, I mean, you know, that's was something that we try to do with Drink Champs is if we could do anything celebrating our black culture and of our Latino culture and our just culture period, our hip hop culture, is to celebrate our lives now. Wow. You know, one thing I respect about New Orleans is, you know, when a person <laughs> dies, they motherfucking celebrate it's a it like it's his it's birthday. A, yeah, it's a festival. You know what I mean? Why not celebrate his birthday yeah. like he died? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why not yeah. do that? Why not, not sort of reverse the process of man, uh, 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 the thing and it just, you know, just celebrate life every day. You know what I'm wow. saying? Like I always tell people, I had an auntie that partied every day. And she would tell me it was somebody's birthday. And I, don't kid, I didn't care. When, when I came there, she would tell me it's a different person's birthday. Whether she was lying to me or not, I just always enjoyed hanging out with that auntie. Right, right. And that's what we want to do with Dream <coughs> Champs. You know what I'm saying? We want yeah. these motherfuckers that process a fucking great fucking time, a great fucking attitude. And that's motherfucking it, man. You know, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs>